This video contains subject matter that may be offensive and disturbing to some people. If you are the type to require a warning throughout a video or show, let this message serve as your warning. This channel discusses the harsh reality of true crime. If this warning is not sufficient for you, consider a different genre and unsubscribe from my channel immediately. going on freaks all right I gotta go fix the audio so it might sound crazy in a second here hold on hold on watch out uh -oh. there we go I think I managed to do that without hurting your ears What's going on? Uh, apparently, people like that last video I just put out earlier. Testing one, two, three. Uh, God, it's really. Oh wait, you know what? God, tell me I haven't. Holy shit! Well, no, it's not. Testing, testing. One. It like blows out. Testing, testing. Hello. Wow. Does that sound too loud? Do you want to? When I talk, is it too loud? See, when I go like that, I can see it blowing out on the. So if I go to there, testing one, two. I think that's better. There we go. All right, cool, man. Hey, thank you very much, J.P. William, and reviewed popcorn. I've been eating a lot of popcorn. That shit's good. <laughs> yeah, it's good stuff. Hey, by the way, uh, Sarita sent uh, my wife some uh, ornaments for the tree. They're really cool. Uh, let me. I do have them downloaded here. Let me... Show you some pictures here really quick. Uh, hold on, let me open up another. <clears throat> Just a second. And thank you very much, Review Popcorn. Yep, we are now on the sixth day of the month. Uh, maybe tomorrow we'll send, in a, uh, send a, our first donation of the month out. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I don't know who Gosh is, but uh, who's Gosh? I don't know. Wasn't Lillian not feeling very well the other day? She probably had partied for her birthday or something. see where Lillian is. Is she in the chat? That's not her actual name name, so uh, it might take a second. All right, let me 
switch over to the middle monitor here. Get my music playing again. It feels weird. Got to have something, a little tiny sound in the background there. Who is Gosh, though? I don't know who that is. Yes, everybody, hit that like button and subscribe and share the video if you'd like. That'd be awesome. We are now at 93,067. Thanks to my earlier video today and just overall uh, content. I mean, fi finally people are actually finding my channel. I've been doing this for four years, but I never really ever get into the algorithm because, uh, you know, I don't do sensationalistic videos or anything. Now, you might look at the title and go, oh, that's sensational. You know, but really what I'm doing is taking a look at what Inside Edition put out because Cairo, I heard about it, like er, somebody mentioned it earlier or something like that. And I was just like, yeah, whatever, you know. But then uh, Inside Edition did a video with their, you know, amazing sound editor guy, you know. Of course, there's all these filters that are so easy just to apply. And it does sort of sound like she says F you, but to say it says Mr. on there is ludicrous. Uh, I don't know many. 19, 20 year old college uh, students that say, Hey, mister, can I borrow a doll? You know, like they just don't say mister. They'd say, F you, asshole, or something like that, especially when you're drunk. Like, mister isn't a word you would say. Uh, that's what they're claiming, anyways. Yeah. So let me, let me show you some of these uh, pictures, though, really quick. Yeah, so this is the tree. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Like, like my wife puts the, this together. That's outside. Some of the trees outside. But like Sarita sent me us, uh, my wife, not me, but like this one. These the four, five of the or six of these really cool looking uh, ornaments right here. There's that one. I think this one might be clear. Like the I think these right here. Really awesome looking. Uh, Ornaments. Thanks, living it. As in living the dream. They got that. I was a try an attempt at a close up, but it was kind of blurry. I think it's this one right here, and this one, and this one, and there's two, three other ones around the tree there. But thanks, Sarita. That was very nice of you. But doesn't that look awesome right there? <laughs> It actually snowed yesterday or two days ago, so that was pretty cool. Yeah. Hey, look at that. There's Lillian, see? Hey, everybody. I have resting fart face, according to Alex. Boy, you are hilarious. I have resting fart face, everybody. <laughs> Boy, that took a while to come up with that one. That was one of the greatest jokes in the history of mankind. Gray, you have resting fart face. What is, by the way, let me ask you something. Um, you seem to be a connoisseur of farts to be able to tell somebody that their face looks like a fart. Now, I, uh, most of us don't have any idea what a fart looks like, yet you claim to know what one looks like. Which is really weird. Let me ask you something. When, Please. when your friends fart, do you get behind their ass and watch it, uh, Tai Day? I'm just curious. Like, do you do you literally get back down there and? Uh, <laughs> God, what a bunch of idiots. Or maybe that wasn't who it was. I don't even know who said that. But anyways, yeah. So that's kind of weird. Like, you literally. Wait, do you have gas? Let me get down there and look at that. Ooh, ooh, wow. I know somebody's face who looks like that. Wow, you're really a strange individual. i got to be honest with you. Wow, unbelievable. I didn't know that you could tell that somebody's face looked like a fart. Okay? I'm just, you know, really strange, to be honest with you. <laughs> you hate that word. Which one? Resting or the F... Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, that one. Yeah. Well, there, there, you know, there's people on Facebook that put posts out there, and they'll go, "Oh God, I saw this really incredible video. It was unbelievable, and it said this without the link." And I said, then I deleted that post, and I made a post saying, uh, "We will never, we will no longer be accepting posts that make a claim without providing the link." And this guy goes, "That's not freedom of speech." Well, guess what? You know, the Facebook groups aren't a they're not a uh, public thing, right? It's like you can run them how you feel like it. Yeah, so that's how it works in there. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't go around saying the word all day long, Lillian. Uh, somebody up there just said that, so then... I figured that would be pretty good. I was just kind of curious what they were referring to. You know, you don't really have... I've never heard of dis somebody's face looking like one. Like, I, like what? Nobody knows what one looks like there, unless you've got special goggles. You know what? This guy probably has one of those special infrared goggles that he watches you know, all day long so he can catch people in the act. Yeah. Yep, that's what it is. Okay, so anyways, let's just get right to the, um, so Inside Edition is claiming that uh, Madison said F you to the hoodie guy and they were in some sort of argument. And I, I don't see him in an argument at all. <laughs> I, I, I just, I don't see him in one whatsoever. And, um, you know, it's, let me see if I can find the video here. Oh, there it is. Oh, shoot. I, I was stupid. Uh, it's not the video. Uh, just a second. There it is. Was able to sit down, so. Okay. And then they'll come to so this is the Grub Trucker video again from a long uh, earlier in the case. People were talking about it. And then he's sort of standing over here. He, apparently he was going to give them a ride, uh, walk them home, make sure they made it home because they were drunk. Okay, and then about eight minutes and eight, six or seven seconds. First of all, I want you to notice something here. So where they're standing, what angle is that shadow at right there? It goes back that way, right? You could actually use the back side of it to show that the shadow goes at about a, you know, it's not 45 degrees, but it's quite a bit out in that direction, right? And even hers, look at how she's standing, um, Maddie standing there. And so notice how her shadow kind of goes off in that general direction over there. Hey, thank you, Anjali. Is that like a, I thought that was the name of some sort of a perfume or something. First Joe, the big guy, claimed Maddie you said F you to him. That's what I think. <laughs> I think he did, she did. First Joe. The big guy. Yeah, that, I actually agree with that. That's what I was going to show. Watch this. I what anyone else is claiming. So see this, and, and she was just probably drunk and not really, the guy wasn't saying anything. So see, see the, um, the angles of the shadows there. Can everybody see that? I just want to make sure that you can see that it, there, the shadows aren't going straight across this way. All right, so if we go to, uh, and that matters. And look at, see, I mean, okay, now right there, I don't know who she's looking at, but she sure as hell isn't looking at the hoodie guy. Look how her face is looking. Um, so, it, gosh, it's hard to, I do have this. I'm going to open up Adobe uh, Photoshop here for a second. Actually, I don't need Photoshop. I can just do a screen grab here like this. And put this over here. And then I think the, I thought I was looking at, earlier, I could see the line, but it's something like, like this is the line of the cement there. Okay. And then when she's looking, she's looking over like almost either at him or to his right. The hoodie guy is to the left of this guy. See that? It's not even close. Uh, God, I know I could see. The, let me play the video again. That was a solid rush. Yeah, there's some shots ended, where you can see it. 
This is two. This is uh, Friday and Saturday in a row. They got you down around one. So well, I guess it's maybe there isn't a flat a crease there. I'm liking the lot, guys. I guess he's gonna fucking need extra slot a second. Yeah, so where she apparently says F.U. is right at 8.13, right? When she points over there, what? Hey, you sitting down on night, Friday nights. I mean, that was a solid rush. It's a good thing that it ended, but... See, can you hear it? It's really quiet. It's like, F.U. But, but do we really even know she's the one that's saying that? You know, that, that's the funny part. Is how do we know she's the one saying that? And by the way, uh, so notice how her hand is pointing... Like this, right? Now, if you were going to look at it, it looks like there is the hoodie guy's shoe and the other shoe. And that means she's pointing right in the middle of his body. But guess what? That isn't what's going on here because of the angle. So because the angle is going out like this, you have to rotate it. And that means the arm is literally pointing uh, over in this direction, like this. You know, uh, so it's not really, this is too, this is, uh, it's Friday. not, it's not anywhere near what it looks like. If you were just going to look at that arm in the shadow, it looks like it's pointing right at him. Like this one here, he's, she's pointing at this guy or somebody else in the background. Okay. Notice how, again, that little shadow is pointing just to the left of hoodie guy, but the angle of the shadow is like this. So you have to rotate it. It doesn't just because the shadows pointing at somebody doesn't mean that that's where she's pointing and and look at her face it just doesn't line up I don't know why people can't see that part you know it's like you just I'm liking a lot guys I guess he's gonna fucking need extra so that was the original one let me play the audio that I have that has it's a little louder There it is. One once. So I did some. I did use like a filter to get rid of noise. So I'll go to eight. Hey, you sitting down all night Friday nights? I mean, that was a solid rush. It's a good thing that it ended, but. See here, right there, the F U thing. What? Well, listen. Right there. See. So that doesn't mean it. Hey Diane, I don't care if I'm annoying. You get it? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like me, you don't like me. Who gives a shit? All right, go go tell, look in the mirror and say that you say that to yourself, because you're annoying just being here. You're not a good person. Uh, let's see. So, anyways, let's go. Let's rewind it to eight thirteen. You can hear it in the background. Listen. Hear that? I think that's pretty clear. That it sort of sounds like that's what she says. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's at. Let me tell you what time frame that is. That's at 8.14, right? So if you go back to the video, uh, let's open that back up again. One once. At 8.14, that is right here. So she's pointing right there. And when you, again, if you were looking at the shadow, it would look like you, she's pointing at the hoodie guy but I, what you have to do is rotate it, and her, ar her, her arm is actually pointing like this because the shadows are going this way. So she's probably pointing more like at this angle, and it, it's either at him or some other person over here. But the, the, the reality is that she's really intoxicated, and she's just probably, you know how, you've seen this before. I mean, I don't know how many of you, you know, everybody in here has probably gone to college before, right? So, you know, when you're in college or even after college, when you go to a bar and there's somebody that's really drunk and they just start going, oh, fuck you, fuck you. you know, I mean, you know, to everybody. All right. Sorry for saying the word, but I just wanted to, for, <laughs> to say it. But uh, it's just it's just the way it is. People don't really, you know, th these guys don't even seem like they give a damn what they're saying either. They're just like, oh, boy, they're drunk, you know. Then they go walking off. <laughs> Paulette Leonard was like embarrassed. I could tell. No, he doesn't say that, Stu. He doesn't say that. Yeah, you guys are all crazy people that think you can hear all that shit like that. 
It does say F.U. though, okay? But it doesn't say Mr. And it, he doesn't say, you're old enough to be my mom. Kaylee says, I could be your mom. Your mom, Jack says. Not in 2022. Kaylee's, you, know, you guys are crazy people. Uh, what you're looking at is, you know, what you're listening to is something that sounds a little bit like this. Okay, I can do it too. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Stupid. He said he was stupid. You hear that? Listen. Man, man, that's it. You guys can hear that, right? You could definitely hear that in there. There's no way you couldn't. Uh, it's the same thing. Somebody claims you hear something, and then everybody goes, "Oh, I can hear it." Now it does. I think it does say the fu part, but that the Mister that's not in there. Uh, I think it says. Um, let's see. What did I think? Uh, let me play that again. I just want to make sure, does that make sense to you how this shadow is actually pointing this way like this, almost at this guy? So if this guy right here claims that she said that, I believe him because she's pointing at him the whole time, not this individual with the hoodie here. And she's probably like, don't worry about it. They're drunk, you know. A lot, guys. Because she's going to fucking need extra slot a second. She's gonna need some extra slow in a second. This bad boy. <laughs> Those guys are pretty cool at work at that truck. Yeah. All right. So that's about all the analysis I can do. I just think it says she does say that word, but she's not pointing at him in that image right there. She's pointing um, at the guy next to him or somebody else behind. And even just look at that picture right there. I mean, all of you have spatial awareness, right? Does it look like she's looking at the guy with the hoodie, if you're being honest? Like, just look at this image right here. Does that look like she's looking way over here to him? It looks like she's looking straight across. Um, if she <sighs> That's hard to explain. I just do, you know, 3D stuff, so for me, it's, you just look at it and it's obvious, you know, I, mm -hmm. so I think it's a nothing burger, that conversation that's going on right there. Now, whether this guy has some other nefarious uh, information, you know, something that went on later, I don't know, I, I, I don't know, you know, yeah, but the thing is, is I would have probably gone to Africa too. Guess why? Because look what's going on right now. The people are nuts, okay? Only because Kaylee's dad said, uh, wow, they cleared some people too soon. Well, that opens the door now for the driver and him because he's one of the few people that they said they didn't think were involved. Okay, so now everybody's looking back at him again with more uh, gusto and it's like, Jesus I would just stay out of town until an arrest is made, come back and say F you to all of them. That's the best way to do it. I did say nothing, Burger. Yes, I did. <laughs> I absolutely said nothing, Burger. Hey, thank you, Jennifer Lee. Hold on. Let me turn on the audio here. Okay. And I, I don't know if you saw the video earlier today, but um, I was I did a video where I did my, a, a route. You know, it's not the route i don't know what the route is it was just one of them i was going to make another one where you come through the sliding door go upstairs first and then downstairs to the room of uh, zena and ethan you know but but here's the thing everybody how come everybody uh, when they theorize in this case what do they keep forgetting 
I'm just curious. Uh, what, there's something that I want to see if you guys know. What do every what does everybody seem to forget when they keep coming up with these theories that they have? Anybody know? I have an idea, Gray. Okay, well we'll wait for that. Yeah, that what uh, Zozo said. That's the that's the thing that they were sleeping when they were attacked. Okay, they they've said that like literally a hundred times, I would imagine. And yet people keep having these big stories about how the killer went upstairs and uh, Ethan heard something and he went up there and then he was attacked, um, you know, near the up there and into the kitchen. And then Zaina heard something and then she got attacked. But, you know, but if they hadn't have woken up, he just would have left because he was only in there to kill uh, Kaylee likely. And Matt, they just happened to be sleeping in the same room. Maybe he even tried to get go to Kaylee's room first, then went to Madison's room. Okay, but let me let me ask you why that's it's like that, where people forget that part of the story. It's such an uh, important uh, element that seems to almost uh, willfully <laughs> just be removed from everybody's thoughts. Okay. Now, I, I'm going to say what I always say on here. When I do on this channel, every single night, the freaks support the channel by sending... Uh, I do four-hour shows, three to four-hour shows. every. It seems like they've been four lately. Uh, every single night, and the freaks support the channel by becoming channel members or Super Chats and PayPals. And, and then, uh, you know, if we have really good months, I always try to donate over 50% over of the net revenue. But in the last couple of months, we've really been able to do a lot uh, from the income because of the, you know, the crazy sort of, uh, I don't know what the deal is, but the last few months have been pretty busy. So if you guys would like to help support the channel so that I could, you know, justify still doing three, four hour shows every single day. Yeah, that's what, uh, that's what, the, oh, geez, look at this clown. There's just so many clowns. It's not really a... Uh, <laughs> God, these people, they're so embarrassing. I uh, accidentally booted myself. Wow, how do you do that? Anyways, that's just how it works. There is very little ad revenue on the live shows. There's almost none. Uh, the videos sometimes do. But uh, you guys are basically it. If you feel like I'm doing a good job and you want to help out, that would be awesome. If not, I'm sorry I disappointed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, so right now I want people to call in and say what they think happened. And the I call it the flow of the crime. I know that bugs people, but it's actually a good term and it's good terminology that uh, I invented a while ago. It's, uh, you know, the flow of the crime, like the person, the movements. And that's why mapping is, is a good thing to do in almost all cases, is you start with the locations and you move around and, you know, go put, uh, you know, where all the elements of the crime occurred and various things. At this point, we don't really have what happened to LMM? What did she do? <laughs> I don't know. What did LMM do? What happened this time? Jesus. I guess I missed it. Thanks, Zozo. Yeah. I don't know what happened. That's, that's hilarious. And thank you, Kit Kat. The other Kit Kat. Yeah, I don't think he's suspicious at all. I think he's a father that wants to get answers. Why, why did she say that? What, did, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm going to have to go find it now.
Yeah, I don't see it. How come I can't see that comment that you're referring to? Don't have any idea. Hmm. Now I'll go to the food truck and say it. They called each other up here. Oh. oh, I see. I didn't get it. Well, I can't see the timing of them, Blake Star, but yeah. I'm going to put you on timeout, though. There's always idiots. Uh, let's see. Odds K will be back tonight. What? All right, there you go. You can call in and say what your theory is. We can look at it. Yeah, it's a, uh, well, it's sugar-free, caffeine-free Coke. <laughs> we don't know. One thing that we don't know a lot about is where people were. You know, we don't have the details inside. And it's amazing how the witnesses haven't said a damn thing. Nobody's come forward to say anything, and we don't know. Hey, thanks, uh, LMM, for the PayPal. I uh, like theories as long as they aren't. Yeah, I like theories that are, they include the known information. For example, uh, I don't want theories. <laughs> I mean, if you sit there and you tell me that Ethan got up and he went running into the hall to see what was happening. Um, tell me how that's possible when they were all attacked while in bed. Or, or, or while sleeping. And I think that's really one of the only ways that uh, Ethan could, could have been um, handled without just a, a ridiculous commotion was that he was asleep. Uh, when the initial blows happened and they were enough where they kind of incapacitated him a bit. What, what are you talking about, Nancy? Yeah, well, what if he didn't do it, Nancy? Did you do it? Where were you, Nancy? Just curious. Let's see. All right, four, four, five. Four, four, five, five, four, three. Are you there? Yeah, you got you to turn down the audio. It sounds like a, a convention in there. Oh, yeah, I turned off. Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, I was just going to I liked your video earlier. How you did the crime scene flow of the house. That was really good work, how you did that house. Well, thanks. I'm going to still yeah, use yeah, it, it for other really things. Good. Yeah, and your, your theory, the way they went in, do you believe it was just one killer or two killers? I just think it was one. That's what I think, too. And the way he went in the sliding doors, I, I think you don't know. I think the cops know who got killed first. Because then the blood drops, then the other victim's blood will be on the other victim. So they'll be able to tell that and they'll be able to tell the way he left. Because you got to think there had to be some blood droplets the way he left. Mm hmm I'm just hoping a girl scratched him, but if he left his cell phone at the house and there's no DNA, mm -hmm. this case could go cold, and I hope it doesn't. Like, it's just crazy. Four yeah. innocent, beautiful college kids just brutally murdered. I hope this gets solved. Well, I wouldn't be shocked at all if they, act, they have uh, some DNA, but he's not in CODIS. Like, I mean, it's pretty obvious. And then, exactly. And then they would and just the do guy, genetic... And the, and the, and the, and they, <laughs> then they would do genetic mm -hmm. genealogy on that one. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yep. Uh huh. And you actually have a backlog of money to test DNA, don't you? In your funds that you don't. Yeah, they they're gonna have. That's great. <laughs> I'm not gonna that's give the, it to that, them. But 
Yeah, that that's the best part about your show, you do, how you donate to charity. I really respect you about that. You're a great guy. Well, thank you. Well, the freaks that allowed yeah, me to glad. do it, but that's uh... exactly the freaks. And like right now, I subscribe. I shared a video, and soon as I'm financially able to, the pandemic really set me back. And I put yeah. that in quotations because the pandemic got blown out of proportion, in my opinion. They shouldn't have shut down all them businesses. Yeah, I agree with that. And that and yeah. that and that hurt me financially, and it just yeah. stinks. Yeah, it kind of but screwed anyways, up a lot uh, of people. Uh, it did, and I yeah. think, and I think, as long as you were healthy, because I'm a healthy individual, I lift weights, I work out, and stuff, and like I didn't get the COVID shot, and I never got well, it. Well, that's why. Well, that's well, that just means you, you know, that <laughs> you probably got lucky because anybody can catch it, even if you've got. Uh, absolutely, vaccinated. but even if you get, even if you get the shot, you could still get it. Yeah, it's just gonna. You, know, you just have protection once you get it. Exactly. But, yeah. Uh, exactly. But you know, the thing is, is like not to, but like Ron DeSantos <clears throat> had it right. That's how you gotta. The whole country should have oh, been like absolutely, how he absolutely, you know, absolutely. Treatment. Actually, I hope he runs. I, I hope he runs for president. I think yeah. I'm going to vote for him if he runs. Yeah, I, think I like, like his. I, I like his him. ideas. Yeah. Well. Anyways, well, I'll let you go get the next call. I just want to say, keep up the great work. Like I said, you and the freaks, man. Shoot, man, you guys are doing great things. Yeah. Cool. Well, I appreciate it. All uh, right. Yeah. Well, I'll let you get the next call. You have a good night. Okay, girl. I'm going to watch the rest of your show and enjoy okay. it. Okay. All right. Cool. Have a good. All night. right. Yeah. Have a good one, bud. Later. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Two two nine. Hello. Hello. Two two nine. You got five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Do, do you not know what your area code is, sir? Or ma'am, or whoever you are? 229? Ah, Jesus. God, ridiculous. 856. God. What in the hell was that right there? That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not too bad, not too bad. I think it's very possible. Wait, 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 possible. Just, wait. Start over your part again. I had it on the. Uh, oh, I, I had to okay. Think, just that part. I feel like like you do. It's one person, mm -hmm. and people say, "Well, how in the world could one person?" And we know with a knife, man, you are right in somebody's face, and you want them to know mm -hmm. who you are. It's very unlikely that people would go into a home with a knife, knowing that there's several people in there. But I feel this person felt comfortable enough, knew the layout, and knew their comings and goings. And it's not that, and maybe didn't know that Ethan had stayed there. It's not very hard. Uh, in my drinking days, which will be 43 years in next month, I know when I drank and partied, and once I fell asleep, I was asleep, and I wake up if an ant crawl, crawls across the floor. I'm a very light sleeper, but when I drank, I passed out. Don't we all? So look at the size of these young girls. It breaks my heart for they're, all they're of them. This, uh, uh, they're asleep. tiny. Yeah. They're tiny little girls. They're, they're, they're half shot or fully shot. They finally go to sleep. Now, what resistance are they going to give? Nothing. Think about well, it. None of them, none of them are. They, well, when you're, when you're sleeping, they, he would just take out the guy first. With the and then, yes. and then he might struggle a little yes. bit, and then Zena wakes up, but she's like, you know, kind of buzzed yeah. and drunk, or what? I don't know how much we don't know how much they drank. You know, we know how exactly. the other two girls are pretty know. drunk. You know. We don't, we don't know, but somebody had to wake up because they did say that there were defensive wounds, and 
how frightening. I can't even, I tell Nancy, I can't even think about it. Because somebody had to have woken up and realized, oh my God, what is going on? And tried to fight back, but didn't have a chance in hell and took them out. And then the two girls, Kaylee and Maddie, they, they were done. It was just done. And the dog, I read in an article from, I guess it was News Nations, that one of the family members said that the dog just wasn't a barker. That looked like a, I had, we had a Scotty Poo at one time. Mm-hmm. And, and they're so docile, so loving. So now Stevie barks like a maniac at things, but they said he didn't bark. Now, I heard early on that the dog was found outside. Now, that's what I read early well, on. People just say whatever they want to say. It's like nobody I really know, knows but, anything. You know? And, you know, Gray, we're only, we only know what we're getting from the police. Yeah, here's what we and know. We all, know that two were, uh, t- uh, Kaylee and Maddie were found in one room. And yes. it sounds like Zena and and uh, Ethan were found in or I don't, we, you know, I don't know. But see, there's all these theories. Like people say that he was in the hallway, he was in the kitchen, he was here, he was there, he was there, he was here. But nobody really knows. But I think that what we well, do know is that Kaylee and uh, Maddie were together because even the, yes. like the father said that. Yeah, yeah. Now, do you remember when it first happened? The coroner said they were all in their beds Sleep asleep. Thing. Yeah, that's what it, she said. Yeah, that's why I'm wondering why so, people always throw out theories that involve them moving around and being way out there somewhere it's weird. well you know what we might find out when this is all said and done and i'll tell you what gray i really feel they are going to i think they're on to something they're not going to tell everybody anything think about all the dna that's in that house with 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 different kids when they had parties they got to go through all that blood and evidence and you know they have a lot of evidence they have to go through all the digital evidence with the phones of not just the four but the six the other two girls that were that were in harm they have a lot to do and i'm not a parent but i'm telling you if i was i'd probably behave the same way or a lot worse i mean i know they want a, a, a lot more and but the police just don't want this getting out. And I'm still, I don't know about you, but the, the boyfriend, Kaylee's boyfriend, still for some reason he yeah. bugs me. Well, I always say, I mean, I keep saying it because he's the one person that uh, um, checks all the boxes. You know, like every single thing that you could think of. Like uh, in terms of motive, like uh, you know, yeah. I mean, they, they're they're ex. Boyfriend and girlfriend, they shared the dog together. They'd been with each yep. other his whole life. He doesn't, you know, he's not as, you know, just be honest, like as good looking as she is as a girl. And he's probably uh-huh. like, wow, I would never be able to have somebody like this again. Yep. She's yep. about to take off and go to Texas. And he's, yep. lo- he's losing the love of his life. And then she comes back and hangs out with all of her friends and shows them the car, but probably car. didn't hang mm-hmm. out with him, right? Left him... Yeah. And maybe he saw them out or something. And then maybe, I mean, here's the theory that I had is he can't, comes over. I put this out like three weeks ago. He comes over at like two something in the morning and there's an right. argument. And then he takes off and that's why they called him. But he was really angry and he kind of blames all the roommates. So that was the, the theory. Oh, yeah. Then he comes back and then Gray, something happens. I'm with you. Know? Yeah. Gray, I'm with you. Because, I mean, here now this is just what, what I'm thinking. But it's just a theory, and they've they've ruled him out. So then I sort of was like, well, you know, that's yeah. What but guess <laughs> what? Guess right, Gray. Yeah. That doesn't mean they, they might have ruled him out, hoodie guy, couple. But that doesn't mean they're totally out. They haven't. They're not clearing anybody yet. They're saying that, but they could always go back to him, and that's what an FBI agent on on the news said. That doesn't mean really anything and what what gets me is maddie's boyfriend gave a heart-wrenching eulogy to her when they had the vigil jack's standing right next to the family Mm -hmm. 
And and granted, maybe he could. Look, I'm just telling you how I feel. God forbid if somebody hurt Nancy or somebody in what's left of my family, let me tell you something, Gray. I'd be up there talking and crying and mm. boohooing. I'd be you standing. Have uh, oh, stop. I would be like carrying on. He hasn't said two words, yeah. not two words yet. Yeah. And that bugs me. It bu- It just bugs me because you've seen it before. Somebody murders somebody. They're holding the mother's hand. They're right up there saying, oh, at least they say something. He's not saying nothing. So I, I'm i still suspect of him. That's all. But uh, this case is, is as hard as it gets now. Tomorrow they're going to give some of the belongings they said on a, a news nations back to the family can you you know can you see this now mm-hmm. here it is you know yeah, but, getting... but, but, let me there's people that keep going god everybody they're saying that jack live we already knew where jack live the whole time okay <laughs> he um they're like this is where we have him because apparently he gave some money to uh for wi-fi to the person that lives at that house yes yeah, so you we already that up there. Yeah, we've known this for weeks, and it's weird how today it's just breaking news on these other. Anyways, uh, go ahead. What? No, you, I already saw you. You put that up there what a week or so ago. No, I think it was like two. Yeah, it's like I mean oh, everything's okay, going but... by so fast now. But it was like remember it was around the time I did the theory video that's out there on. Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, well. You know, Gray, it, let me say this to you. If he's the one, it wouldn't surprise me. He he might not be. I'm not accusing anybody. But it he might not be. But if it was, I wouldn't be surprised. All I know is these kids are going way too soon. They could have done a lot in this world. Yep. They were all beautiful, and he, and he was handsome. And it's absolutely the most terrific thing in like Libby and Abby's case that 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 I've heard. And he had confidence to go in there with that knife because he knew damn right well that they were loaded and he wasn't going to have any trouble. And obviously he didn't mm-hmm. because they're all gone. So that's all I have to say. And I want to thank you f- again for the birthday wishes. Na- that hey, is no Nancy problem. <laughs> Nancy <laughs> bought a gigantic cake, and Gray, guess what? I'm killing it. I got my results back uh-huh. from my uh, heart test because they saw something that was abnormal, and I was concerned about it. My doctor was. It's okay. Oh, so wow. I'm okay. Next week for Christmas, I'm getting a new hip. Wow, and you're going to start running marathons real soon. Oh, uh, listen, <laughs> I'm going to be running around like a 32-year-old, and I hope your test turned out good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, he mm-hmm. yeah he actually um, was like, yeah, well, I mean, it sounds like, yeah, you don't need to come in and see me or anything like that because it uh, me not drinking the coffee fixed the there was like these rhythms that were kind of dangerous. Oh, it gives you heart palpitations. Yeah, it was this weird. Uh, what was too it much called? caffeine? The, um, pre, you know, it was like ventricular fibrillation it was some kind of weird shit oh uh, ventricular was having. Uh, yeah yeah, okay. yeah i was having some weird uh crap with that but then uh after a week of the monitor without drinking coffee he said they didn't see any of those <laughs> oh <laughs> Is good that crazy or great what? <laughs> uh it's yeah, sad so. now if you're a coffee drinker i am if you take my sugar away in coffee you might as well close the lid because i'm um, i love my no, coffee and ventricular I tachycardia. Sweet. That's what it was. Oh, ventricular. Oh, okay. Ventricular tachycardia. Okay. But it was also, I'd have to go look it up. <laughs> I mean, it was like, there was a whole bunch of crap that was going on. But recurrently, sometimes my heart will uh, beat and then it'll, three seconds later it'll beat again or something. And so well, sometimes, it, sometimes it's slow. Me. That's why he was saying, well, maybe we need a, you know, the, your next step at some point might be a pacemaker and all that means is uh-huh. when your heart sl- um, has a, they want to keep it like at a regular beat. So if it's like ding, yeah, ding, ding, it would right, fill in the course. gap there and put one in there. You don't, so you don't want to have a delay. Yeah. And your heart with your shoes 
should be beaten strong. <laughs> well, it feels but good. Man, I mean, it's just, uh, I feel so much better after not drinking the coffee. But. Really? Yeah. Well, listen, if that's what it takes, then that's, that's what you got to do. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. So I'm glad, I'm glad you're feeling better. And uh, I'm a little nervous, but you know what, Gray? You'll I got to get it done. Yeah. And uh, that that's about it. But I want this murder solved. And uh, I want uh, Richard A. I want this. I want no problems with Delphi because the families and the girls, they need it. They need the justice. It won't bring them back, and it won't bring these poor kids back. But I'm telling you, it's just horrible. And that little girl with that FedEx, I can't take it. It's like that was crazy. every time was... you turn around. what? I, I just don't. The, the hatred and uh, I just don't know, Gray. I really don't know. It's just that there's some evil people in this world. And uh, that we just got to keep on going and hope they get caught and uh, take them off the uh, out of society. They all mm-hmm. need it. And this, whoever did this, it, uh, I can't wait to see who it is because this guy is an absolute psycho that you could do this to, to four people. Just plunge a knife in them, not once, several times. And one of them had more. We don't know if it's Kaylee. The father's saying it's Kaylee because he got the, you know, her urn and Maddie's urn is at his house. Mm -hmm. And he must, maybe he read the autopsy and and realized, hey, this is, because he said it's not matching. But once the shock wears off. These right. people are losing their minds, and I don't blame their parents. I mean, the parents were probably so told how they were killed, and then they communicated and said, oh, wow, they told me my daughter. Oh, so that doesn't really match. It's different. But here's the uh-huh. thing. When somebody has a knife in there, uh, you know, stabbing violently at people, isn't it possible that something's just, you know, it's not, it's not a consistent thing on everybody? So maybe one appears a certain way, but it isn't really... Uh, there isn't well, an extra significance. I, cause it could just be somebody I, just stabbing wildly over and over, like they're really angry at everybody, and they just. Well, yeah, I really feel that uh, the person, it, and and one investigator said, um, Kaylee could have got it more because it could have been Maddie being the target. Maybe maybe uh, Kaylee woke up and started fighting back, and he had a like, uh oh, okay, boom, I got to do. Got to do Maddie, get her out of the way, because this one's starting to fight me. And that's why maybe she got more. So you don't know. They don't know for sure, I guess, until they get the perpetrator to find out. And they can really tell the story. You know, Mm. was she really the target or was it Maddie? But I'll tell you what, somebody had some hatred for all those kids. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, well, listen, hey, you get your next call. <laughs> All right. And Nancy, Nancy, <laughs> take me. care of her when she gets that hip replaced. I expect you to have uh, a phone in your listen. hand. You need to have a phone in your hand Bray. while you're sitting at the hospital and call us up. All right. Bray, Nancy wants to say one thing about taking care of me, and then we'll get off. No. Oh, boy. Oh, what do you to me with Oh, I told Gray, I said, if she doesn't behave, I'm going to grease the wheels on her walker. <laughs> Yeah, that's not very nice, Nancy. Uh, well, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put you I in her, prison. I said, yeah. I've already had the surgery. I said, hun, just go with it and do your exercises. Don't argue with me about when you have to get up and walk. Yeah. And I said, and if you whine too much, then you're in trouble. And then she just looked at me and started laughing. I just <laughs> try to keep her her spirits up because this is her first surgery, Gray. I've had more than a few so i'm a little more accustomed to it so surgery anyway, are actually sort of laugh. by the way Nan, i mean yeah i mean the thing is is uh, lily in there they're really easy like here's what happens you go to a surgery you lay there you get kind of sleepy and then wake up and you're sitting there all done like that's the next that's thing it. there's nothing to it that's it yeah, i right. told her that i said it was so now mine was more complicated because i had other issues with my hip was almost collapsed from a disease Hers, she can do robotic. I said, you're going to be up and moving. In. They're going to have you up as soon as you're, you're not wobbly. I said, it, you'll see. It's not 
it's not awful. It's not what it used to be, mm-hmm. thank God. But I'm glad you're doing good, and I'm going to let you go because I know you have other callers, and we will be talking again soon, I'm sure. Okay, well... Uh, All right, take care, Gray, and tell your wife she did a great job. It looks oh, beautiful. My God, yeah. Love uh, it. Okay. I love All right. right. Well, bye-bye. I tell her that every day. But anyway, thanks. Have a good anyway, one. Bye bye. Hey, wow. Thanks, Dixie Chicken, nineteen sixty nine. My eighty one year old dad and me love Miss Lillian and you. Um, my dad wants Texas Rangers to step in. A question. Uh, step. Uh, Texas Rangers to step in and question Jack. Regardless, we support these families and demand justice. So why does everybody think this other Jack S. guy? Just because, you know, it's coming full circle because the dad said he, you know, they they ruled people out too quickly. What difference does it make what the dad said? I mean, I'm just saying in that case. Like, I totally get what the dad's doing. Like, he should be able to go out there and be like, oh, my God, he didn't say whatever the hell he wants to say. But why are you assigning him saying that such a huge importance? I don't know, Michael, but guess what? I have a theory on your brain. And what that means is you end up being removed from the channel. Okay. Um, it's one of it's going to be one of those nights. If you throw any kind of crazy shit that has nothing to do with what we're talking about, you're just going to get blocked. Okay. And let's see. Above we have um, AF. Thank you very much for those. Uh, it says Murphy had divorced parents, meaning the dog's parents weren't together anymore. That lived steps away across the street. Maddie came home. Likely even. Yeah, I mean the thing is, is there's a there's a right from this house you can see directly over here into the window. I don't know if there's a street view. Well, shit. Let's let's check it out. This should work. Oh man, let's see. I guess is it right down here? Yeah, it's gonna be right here. No, it's his house right here. I think it's this one. I think I have to go up a little higher. You can't see it because it's. Uh, let me let me look at that angle again. Yeah, there's a tree line. I think directly. It probably depends on what time of year it is, but it should be right here. So it's, it's right inside of that. Uh, maybe. It's weird. It almost looks like this this house what well, isn't there anymore. <laughs> I don't know weird but you can see there's a street there and this house and you, there's a direct line um, so let's see the roof with the house with the flat roof on it is that one and then it would be in between yeah that's weird I don't know yeah I think that's the house if it's a different one let me know but the angle is exactly that you can see um, Ethan's room and actually not Ethan's um, Zena's room and Kaylee's room up on the third floor hey thank you SV Kathy appreciate it and also um, Angela Alex and Jay <laughs> now that's a short name okay that's that's about the shortest name you're ever gonna see there well it's technically is the shortest name and see she said love you gray glad you're feeling better yeah thank you and Angela Alex says, I have knee surgery tomorrow. Can I ask for prayers, please? Okay, everybody put some positive prayer hands out for Angela Alex. All right. I'm sure you'll be just fine. You'll, it's like, you'll have like a bionic knee. All right. You'll hear the, it'll be like the Steve Austin. Man, barely alive. We can rebuild him. Da-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-
you know, and then it was, uh, remember that? That was the bionic, uh, bionic sound of the eye. Remember it was, and then the, it was like, the jumping was, you know, I was always wondering though, uh, thank God he had two bionic legs. Don't you think that would have looked pretty weird? Running with one bionic leg, it would be like just this really fast limp. <laughs> it's like 60 miles an hour, 10 miles an hour. 60, 10, 60, 10, bang, da ding, da ding, da ding. Yeah. Yeah. These are great shows. Whenever we have this many people, what's great about it is. It allows us to block even more people that are just belligerent uh, idiots that show up here and say me, you know, bullshit comments. Just boom, they're gone, and we just keep on moving. That way, we avoid having idiots like that on the show in the future. It's amazing. Um, I feel like she needs the challenge. The call-in number is up on the on the screen there, Patsy. Where you, can you not read those or? Yeah, they're right in front of your face. <clears throat> oh, I don't think you're an idiot, Alifair. Oh, well, well, you're not that big of an idiot. <laughs> what do you mean, Gray? Oh, I got thrown in so mean jail by Jessica Schubach. Was I really mean? Um, okay, well, that's up to you then, Jessica, because... I'm, I was just sitting here minding my own business, and I was thrown in prison. Oh. One point seven in here, five hundred. Yeah, everybody, hit. Uh, if you could help me out, if you're watching, and you're not able to help the channel out uh, financially or any other way, could you hit the like button for me, please? I do spend a lot of time. Uh, on this channel, and we've, I've been doing it. I just recently I had 1,800 and some odd shows, and I put a lot of them on private and members only over the last like about a, two weeks ago. How come people are asking for the call in number? Are you joking, Patsy Klein? They're on the screen. If you ask again, I'm going to remove you, okay? Because I know that you're just doing it to be belligerent at this point. I already answered your question. And wait, maybe you're on rewind mode. Is that it? Thank you. Uh, that's Bale, Lisa Murphy, and Mama457, Rose, and Vegas Andrews. So mean! Oh, and Gummo. For a couple of loose smokes. <laughs> uh, bail money from Carol. Thank you. And Colleen Dahlman. Can you guys not see the numbers on the screen there? I'm just curious. I, I'm not sure if I'm just having some weird moment. Bio. Thanks, Sherry. Yes. Hand over your ice cold drink. Can't take it in <laughs> jail. Oh, yeah. There it is. The ice cold drink. Let me see. How can I make it where it sounds like I'm. Appreciate you all. Rose, smiling ah, face that's not with good. Rose, smiling face with hearts. Rose, smiling face with hearts. <laughs> that doesn't work. Thank you, perfectly imperfect. So me. So Miranda writes and a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Alright, so the, the lines are open right there. I think you can see the numbers on the screen. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'll take the roof off. Roof. God, I'm never going to say it. Come on. Is it? Okay, here, let's do it. I'm going to do a poll here really quick. Do you say, <laughs> do you say, um, 
roo, uh, roof or roof like a dog and be honest too okay here we go All right, so the second one, um, you gotta just say it, because I don't think anybody, most people don't say roof. They go, yeah, put it on my roof, you know? Put it on my roof. Yeah. All right, 680. Hi, how are you, Greg? Yeah, not too bad. How, what's going on with you? <laughs> Well, I, I, I maybe I heard it wrong, but didn't he say the text messages weren't uh, involved in murder? Hold on, let me turn off the. Um, what what are you saying? I don't remember them. I don't remember them ever excluding Jack. They just said the text messages, the messages between Jack and Keeley were not involved in the murders. Well, they weren't text messages. They called. They tried calling. Multiple okay. times. I don't know if there were other text messages, but they said that they weren't. You know, maybe there was text messages and then the calls. But they definitely called oh, um, at 2.26. Kaylee called six times up until 2.44. And then at 2.44, Madison tried calling. And that's what alerted me to the fact that Kaylee must think that he is... Um, like screening his calls and thinks that if Madison calls, he might answer. So then Madison calls three times from 244 to 252. And then Kaylee calls one more time at 252 and then the calls stop. But then we're, we're looking at they get murdered between three and four. So just barely any time after that. They were murdered, and apparently he says he was sleeping, and you know very well could be. I'm just saying, you know, it's an interest that he's an interesting person, just because well, it, everything works. You know, it's weird. I, I I agree with you, and and two things as being a girl, um, one is that she came to see Maddie to show off her car. Mm -hmm. She hung out out with Maddie. She didn't hang out with Jack. And two, that their dog was located in a different room. Mm -hmm. And that was their shared dog. Yeah, it's almost like so, maybe somebody came in quietly and moved the dog to a different room. Shut the door. Yeah. Now the dog is out of the out of the picture. Or it could have been when they went to sleep, they didn't want the dog jumping around on the small little bed that was in uh, Madison's room. And so they put the dog in, the, in her old room or something. I mean, we don't know very true but then you you think that um zanny heard some commotion going on and figured the girls were fighting because she had defensive wounds yeah but why but that so, doesn't mean anything about what you just said there i mean it doesn't necessarily mean that it could just be when the killer went into that room and attacked uh the guy first which you would almost undoubtedly do uh ethan that she woke up and then she was awake when he had to attack her and she tried to defend herself then after they're killed he goes upstairs and kills two people while they're sleeping maybe can i can i introduce something else because well, yeah, um, you do the coroner you. said uh, the coroner said most of them were in their beds mm -hmm. so could she possibly hear some commotion and think the girls were fighting or arguing and come up the stairs and then be attacked i mean there's a lot of could have this and could have that, yeah. I mean, any anything is, um, you know, like quote possible. I we don't. I guess it would be great if we knew where people were found. And but why would he then need to go in and kill? I mean, then then it's like if when you say most of them, that would mean three, right? We're in their beds. So yeah. so then Zena comes out, and then she's attacked, and then somehow Ethan remains asleep. And then he comes in there and attacks him. Well, we're, I mean, we don't know where he was. He, well, we don't know where anybody I mean? was. That's what I'm saying. So, like, yeah. what, but what makes yeah. you come when you come up with your theory? What makes you think that that's more plausible than Ethan maybe getting up and she stayed in bed? I don't know. Maybe he was completely out of it and then woke up and then he thought, "Oh, I gotta, 
he knows me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think the the common denominator is we both think it's him. You know, it's to me it's so obviously him. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're talking about the boyfriend. Yeah, I mean, when you say obvious, I just think it's a possibility, and it's somebody. Um, you know, law enforcement did say that at this time. You know, they did say this time. He's not mm-hmm. somebody we're looking at, but again, he still sort of checks all the boxes that you would be looking for. He would be the most l- obvious person to look at to me. Yeah, right? I feel really bad if it's, you know, I'm saying this and it's not him, but... Well, you I could just, just say you like feel he, really he, strong. I wouldn't say that he's... I mean, what was the wording you, you used? This is obviously him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's that's too much. I mean, because it's, it's not it, if it's not him, it wasn't obvious, right? So you need to. Yeah. I mean, sure. the wording by people is really what, uh, like when people state things as facts, and it's just an opinion, or but yeah, I would just say in a situ- something like that, you would say, you know, he just he always pops out at me as being, uh, ma- he makes the most sense of the re- than anything else <laughs> at this point, right? I mean, it's very true. Yeah. <laughs> I'm no, just well, I'm just trying to help great. you out in the, you know, like. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm just saying because if you say it like that and it's not him, then it sound then it's bad. But people can have opinions, and and the thing is, is Kaylee's family are the ones that broke it to the public that law enforcement was looking into Jack, because they actually said, well, well, why are they? I don't know why law enforcement's looking into him. He had nothing to do with it. Well, boom, there you go. So that means it wasn't unreasonable that we thought the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yes, correct. So, well, thank ooh, you correct. For oh, my call. God, everybody. She said correct. Everybody <laughs> type it. Correct, correct, correct. But that was a, di- that was a different one. I always at the end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Well, what was that one part you were saying that the medical examiner, um, she well, updated Well, the medical it? examiner was... Yeah, she she said that most of them were in their beds. That was a comment she made. Mm-hmm. But didn't she later change it to that they were all attacked while sleeping? Or was well, I think she... that the, the person said were were they because she was trying the, the reporter was trying to determine where they were, and mm-hmm. she said weren't they sleeping or were they sleeping? And she said most of them. But then um, I think Zanny's dad came out and said that. Uh, she had a bunch of defensive wounds on her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely had defensive wounds. That's what it uh, sounds like, anyways. Um, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, the defensive wounds well, to me just meant that Ethan was attacked first. And, I mean, and then she was awake trying to, like, help him or something. Because if you were a killer, you would go after the guy first while he was sleeping. But it could be the scenario that the person went in to kill only uh, Kaylee, but then, wow, I mean, look, what if it went like this? The killer goes into the house, checks Madison's room, I mean, uh, Kaylee's room, and Kaylee's not in that room. So then walks down the hall, and there's two of them in there. So he kills them, and he's kind of, it gets crazy because one of them wakes up and there's you know, sounds, and then he goes downstairs. And maybe it, uh, you know, it's possible. Then it woke somebody up, and then there is, you know, I don't know. I mean, it's just that that's where it gets. You're, we're just kind of coming up with too much stuff in our minds at that point. I know. I just I go on what what I hear on the reporting. So Kaylee's dad said she was the target. Mm-hmm. So you go and you 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 right. take all your frustration out on Kaylee. You kill right. Madison just because she's there. Yeah, but Kaylee's dad's saying that, and yet law enforcement is saying they really want to know more about the timeline of Ethan and Zena because they know they were at the yeah, party from 9 to 145. They have it. Huh? Didn't you hear that's because they didn't have that much information? Yeah, I did hear that. They don't have the timeline. information on but why would they care? Like, here's the thing. If the killer uh, targeted somebody else, why would they really need to fill in their timeline? Because that means if the person was there to kill the other person. That wouldn't... You know, it's not somebody that was following them around and talking to them, and they got in an argument with somebody. 
you know they i agree but if you if you think that you have the killer already and you don't have enough evidence when you throw something out there just just throw it out there so that you can concentrate on that person i don't, I don't know what that means what you're saying i I'm saying that if you think it's Jack all along, mm-hmm. just say you think it's Jack and you don't have enough evidence on him right now. Yeah. When you just throw something, because he's not going to be in CODIS. He hasn't done anything. Yeah, but what so do you mean? You just, well, they would just be able to immediately check his DNA in five seconds. You know, uh, that wouldn't, they would, yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's true. yeah, so, yeah, they would just find something, um, you know, follow him around, get get a warrant to be able to grab a hair sample out of his apartment, anything, you know. But well, anyways. I still think you're right. And I didn't think you were right in the beginning, so. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see. It was just a theory. Right. I put it to members only because, you know, once they cleared him, I felt like, eh, geez, you know. So let me, I just thought I'd put it there because. You know, it's not public. I don't want to start adding more to something. But, you know, every time you, you know, think about all the elements, <laughs> it really fits well with him, nobody else. So, anyways. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for well, uh, calling well. in. I appreciate it. Thank you for taking my call. Have all a great right. night. All right, too. Bye. Bye. Oops. <laughs> yeah. All right. Four, four, five. Yeah, how you doing, Gray? I called earlier. I just wanted oh, to, I geez. forgot to mention one yeah. thing I wanted to talk to you about. <laughs> okay, what's that? Uh, well, the guy at the Grubhub Trek, is it true he didn't give his DNA and left the country? I heard that earlier. I want to know if you heard anything about that. Um, I don't know if it's true or not, but if I was him, I would have left too. And well, I, it would, it, that I wouldn't really bother me one bit if he left the country. You know, it's not like oh, it was yeah. his girlfriend or... Anything like that, with all the crazy shit going yeah. on, is for it's him. Not, I, I, th- I think if he was innocent, he should have gave his DNA. Well, who knows if he gave his DNA or not? And that doesn't. No, but, but also that doesn't mean it doesn't matter what you heard earlier. It doesn't matter when you okay. say stuff like when you say stuff like, um, man, if he was innocent, he give it. No, who does that? Hey, I'm gonna go on a trip, but before right. I go, uh, cops, here's my DNA. Uh, check it out. Uh, that doesn't happen. Like if they asked him for it, and he didn't give it to him, and he flew to africa i'd probably feel like whoa that that's a little something extra there but yeah, we yeah, don't even yeah, know if that happened yeah. he might have given his yeah, dna and he I took off it. yeah you're explaining that very thoroughly to me yeah now i understand yeah absolutely so i heard that earlier but you're right because i i agree too because like he could have did it but he might not he might be innocent you yeah. just don't know until more stuff I think it's out. very likely he's innocent but it um you know at the, yeah, the very beginning too. he looked I, suspicious i, I gotta admit I made a video with arrows pointing thing. at him, and I made a video I with arrows, think that point, arrows pointing the, at him and everything. The biggest thing that's going to solve this case is that window from when they left the frat party mm-hmm. until they got home. Where were they, Zana and the boyfriend, Ethan? Because they, they're not telling us where were they for them a couple hours. Well, they don't know where they were. That's, that's what they just said. They, they have no idea. They just put exactly. out a, Yesterday they said they know. They want to know who Zayna and Ethan were talking to between 9 and one forty-five, or any interactions because they, they don't back. know where they were. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. And that's going to be the key to solving the case, in my opinion. I think that's well, the key. If they were at a bar, though, Colleen, and they probably would have a video of it, and they'd know that. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, and it takes time to process that stuff. And the cops are doing great work, the state cops, the feds, they're doing the best they can. Sometimes cases just are hard to solve. Do you know what I mean? If a killer's smart, like, you can get away with murder. Do you know how many unsolved murders are in this country? A lot. Because, they, I mean, people are, like, talking bad about the cops. No, the cops are doing the best they can. <laughs> and what, this town didn't have a killing in seven years? Like, these cops aren't used to this. Mm-hmm. And thank God the feds came in because they have more experience, of course. And I still think you should have been a detective, Gray. I think you would have made a great detective, well, honestly, you. if you were, like, wanted to go that route. Because you're smart, <laughs> you're intelligent, and you just have common sense. Yeah. I love that's the best thing about you, your common sense. Well, that's what I try to like, do. Like, you just, like... Exactly. That's why I love your videos. You just have that common sense. You'll speculate on the facts. That's it. Like that's what that's I love it. about your show that's the best right too. There. Well, cool. Well, I'll let you get well, the next caller. I forgot <laughs> that. I just forgot that one point I wanted to mention. I just wanted right. to make sure I got that across. 
All right. Well, uh, thanks for calling. All right. Well, you all have a good night. Okay. Get to the next call. Okay, bud. All right. See you later. All right. All right. Yeah. So, like, see, the thing is, I don't do like what Shogun just did up there. See, those are the kind of comments that are like, who, but who elected him to follow the girls? Anyone have an answer? I don't know. Sometimes there are people out there that are, you know, he likely maybe even knew him somehow, but he saw that, saw that they were really drunk and wanted to make sure they made it home. Who knows? You know, I, I don't know, but who gives a shit? Law enforcement has come forward and said that at this time, they don't think he's involved. Okay? Just look at it like that. And, and, he, and here's the thing, everybody. I'm saying that, and he very well could be involved somehow. He actually could be involved. I don't know, I, uh, but there's nothing that we have other than him standing there um, that implies that he has anything to do with it at all. He, as a matter of fact, he went a different direction and they got a ride home. And then they were home for, gosh, they got home at uh, 1.56. They were awake for another hour and something and they all felt comfortable enough to go to sleep. Then the other two roommates, they got home at one they actually were uh, something awakened them up at some point where they locked their doors and I actually I think that they saw somebody okay that's what I think and they're just not telling us that it's one all of a sudden they get home at one and they wake up the next day that's all they say I think there's way more to what the other two roommates saw and heard okay that's my opinion 832, 832. Hello? Hello? Yes, hello. Hello. Hi, I'm sorry. Can you hear me? Yeah, you gotta uh, mute the back, you know, the actual audio. You just use your phone like a phone. What's going on? Yeah, I am. I'm sorry. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> First of all, thank you for putting this out. I think it's very informative. You're a great person to do all this. Um, but I am curious. Look, I have a child that's in college, very similar to Idaho State, but I'm in North Carolina. And just kind of like a cozy little mountain college town. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I am surprised that there's not more video or 360 app or all that that's going on. Um, wait, what are you saying? I don't know if they had those on. I mean, they're, they're obviously law enforcement looks at all this stuff. I have a three, I have the 360 app. Uh, right, right. But out of six kids, you would think one would have one on. And I, I you know, great. I respect your opinion. I do not believe that those two girls in the bottom floor knew what was happening. Like I said, I have a daughter that's their age in college. And girls are drama queens, first of all. Yeah, but I do. And the reason I do is because early on, they yeah, somebody they actually told somebody that they heard noise, really uh, noises, and they thought people were partying, so they locked their doors. I think there's more to it than that. Well, my daughter well, lives well, with well, three well, other what? girls. <laughs> See, my, here's what people always do. Like, what I just said was something that's really rational, but you're going to tell a story about how your daughter did something, therefore what I said uh, can't be true, right? Is that what you're going to say? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm okay. saying from an experience of a, a mother that has a daughter in college. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she has three roommates. She's heard somebody in other rooms, and they complained about her being loud. Yeah. And she complained about them being loud. And so maybe sometimes they don't take that as somebody's getting murdered, more like somebody's partying upstairs and they don't appreciate it. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. Right, yeah. But don't, 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 don't I think that... You well, I thought you were saying that you thought that they were... Um, they, they heard nothing you said a minute ago. No, but, I'm just saying that... I, I do think they went to bed and went to sleep. And if they heard something, they probably thought... Oh, there's a party upstairs, being on the first floor, and mm -hmm. there's two other levels. Levels. That's yeah. it. But don't you think it's uh, you know? So you got the. Don't you think it's more like this? There, there's two survivors. There's a killer out there, 
and maybe uh, uh, to protect them you say they got home at one and woke up the next day that means they have no knowledge of anything and yet maybe there is knowledge that happened that happened there because it's such a the story is so short it's just they got home at one and woke up the next day when you listen to that don't you well, feel like there's just something missing I don't and I've listened to your story mm -hmm. and I respect it but I, I do I think the girl came home the two on the bottom floor and they just went right to sleep but like I the second they walked in the door boom they fell right to sleep I think well yeah I think within 30 to 45 minutes they fell asleep they're mm -hmm. on the bottom floor in the basement so you don't have all the street noise or anything like that you only well, have a front let line. me ask you this though so there's here's what I would say is yeah um, well if you look at the map of the building here and uh, you can't see it probably yeah. but if I take the, the roof off here and and um, if you just you can just look at it for out there Zaina's room is right above one of the other roommates room the, the ones below like literally oh. stacked mm -hmm. wall per wall and the only thing that's separating them is the floor so you don't think that like right. a noise of somebody being attacked in that room at 3 30 may have been enough to wake somebody up right below um, you know, honestly, Gray, it depends on how they sleep, and I, I would wake up. I can't talk for everybody. It does sound weird that she didn't wake up, but we don't know if they were dead asleep. We're all assuming mm -hmm. that they weren't, or they were, or, you know, we really don't know. Right. What if they were dead asleep and somebody came in and just struck them in the heart and left? We don't know. Yeah. yeah, I'm just talking about the uh, the roommates down below. I think, uh, based on the information uh, that came out early, is that they heard something and locked their doors. Well, guess what? At 1:45 and 2:56, they're just kind of milling around. As a matter of fact, the phone calls that they made were likely uh, 2:26 to 2:52 were made up in the bedroom. Um, so I don't Do think there think I don't think there's going to be a lot of noise work? going on. So what was the noise that sounded like partying to her that happened after, you know, because it would have been 1.45 or later. What was the noise that sounded like partying that she felt like she needed to get up and lock her door? See, that's the well, part I'm, I, I mean, I'm actually, I'm not just throwing out a theory to have a theory. I have a reason that I'm saying. No, I get it. I get it. Uh, well, I mean, it's not like little locks like we have on our homes or apartments. Mm -hmm. Like apparently, in, well, speaking from experience with my kids, they should have a lock on the door when it closes. And I asked my daughter, does it automatically close? And then she said, does your bedroom door automatically close? And I was like, don't be a smart ass, but it does not. So you have to apparently get up and lock those doors Mm -hmm. I don't know. Right, but, but see, but they got up and locked the doors. They heard something, and that, and the the sound that they heard so, might have actually been mm -hmm. something that you know it was, it was scary. It was something like, oh wow, you know, and lock your door. And then the next morning, there was probably still an uneasy feeling about it. And then she goes up and looks around and sees something, and then oh my god, and then calls it, you know, calls everybody else and friends and texts them. They yeah. come over. And you know, you sort you sort of wonder what was on the nine one one call if there were people saying what she told them, and that's stuff that they don't want us to so, hear. You know? So let me ask you this: Do you well? Do you have kids? I'm just out to kill. Uh, no, I get, but I don't want that to be part of an argument. I really don't. Uh, if no, you're going to say, well, well, if you don't no, have kids, no, therefore, course, yeah. No, no, and that's not what I'm saying. I'm okay. just saying from my experience. Okay. Yeah, well, that, that children, is what you're saying now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But anyways, well, I'm going to go get the other calls, I'm okay? Not, I'm gonna I'm, get, okay, i got to get the other one. All right, thanks. All right, here we go. Um, 843, you're on. 843. Yes. Yeah. What's going on? What do you got? you got to turn down the audio uh, let me turn this. Let me turn this down. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Yep, yep. Okay, this is Patsy. Hey, 
Patsy, what's going on? And I'm and I'm sorry about the um, mix up on the telephone call and the telephone line. Oh yeah, well it was just on the screen. You <clears throat> you typed it in twice. Where's the number? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've never I've never called in somewhere that had to have a passcode and all that stuff. You know. So uh, that mm-hmm. and when it said welcome to Zoom, I went oh wrong number. You know. Yeah. So anyway, I'm sorry mm-hmm. about that mix up. Um, I'm gonna make it brief. I just wanted to let you know how much I appreciate you. Uh, your channel and the way you operate it, um, your diagrams of the Delphi and this particular mm-hmm. case has been astronomically great. Well, I've never you. seen anything like that on any YouTube channel uh, out here. I mean, it's just absolutely fantastic. Well, thank you. Um, you put a, and I can tell all the work you put into it and the time you put into it, and it's wonderful, just absolutely wonderful. Yeah, it takes a long time. Like these things here take. You know, 10, 15, 20 hours to build something like that. Uh, I can tell it to you. I can see it. Uh-huh. And uh, but uh, you're you're very analytical. I, I like the way you don't take uh, you know skept, skepticism and all that kind of stuff, guessing, theorizing, and all that. Yeah, I mean, I do theorize like and facts. stuff like that, but it's usually it's based on something I yeah. know, or you know, it's mm-hmm. not it's not just sort mm-hmm. of randomly going ooh ooh, let me think, and kind of coming mm-hmm. up with a, a theory. Mm-hmm. You have to have a basis for what your uh-huh. yeah right. your uh, your theory is, yep. and that's great. Um, but anyway, that's the main thing I want to do, and I apologize about the call call-in situation. But no, that's all right. Um, and um, you know, uh, as far as uh, I just want to say one thing about that's kind of been bugging me about this whole case. And what's and that? it's everybody seems to be zeroing in on the Jack F. Okay, mm-hmm. that was at the food truck. Yeah, they got um, the hoodie. Yeah, yeah, just because he left to go to Africa. Um, and you know what? Uh, I'm with you. I would have gone off the planet if I could have uh, to get away from these people that are, you know, second guessing and don't have any facts. That is pointing their fingers at people. Um, you know, I, I would have left too. Um, mm-hmm. But the fact is, the police said they don't have any facts to to back that up. They just said at this time we don't have any. Uh, we do not consider him. I can't remember the exact term, but it was something like at this time uh, we don't consider them to be involved or something like that. To j- mm-hmm. uh, both mm-hmm. both Jacks and um, you know, and I guess it was also the driver from the food cart that took Kaylee and Madison home, and mm-hmm. I think that's pretty much it really yeah and you but know, they, but they said at act- this time right you notice that mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. well as far as him going to africa you know he'd already been cleared you know by mm-hmm. the police. yeah but so, but, but um, people think let's say um you were accused of a crime but you had a cruise ship that you were going to go on in two weeks <laughs> and then two weeks right. comes up and you go on your cruise everybody goes oh he's guilty so he was supposed to cancel mm-hmm. the cruise because he's some guy that was standing in a video and mm-hmm. he wants to sit around in town so everybody eyes him weirdly i would get the hell out of there mm-hmm. and once mm-hmm. they find the killer he comes back and everybody's gonna go dude i'm sorry man well actually people don't do that because they they don't think mm-hmm. like that right uh, the ones that mm-hmm. i mean I, I mean i did make a video where i had an arrow pointing because he was it was interesting how he seemed to be like he came in with them but then he stood back and mm-hmm. watched and everything mm-hmm. and then they leave and he leaves but when the, when they explained what was really going on there like the big guy he said he was mm-hmm. going to give them a ride home or not a ride home but he was going to make sure that they made it home and right. then all of a sudden they get into another car and he kind of walks over okay yeah go ahead you know see you later mm-hmm. you know and then he mm-hmm. goes to his car probably it wasn't like he right. went running down the street after them. Right. Yeah. And, you know, they said, well, he, they kept, everybody kept saying on other channels, they said, well, you know, she didn't say anything to him the whole time he was standing there. Well, mm-hmm. the fact is he voluntarily did that. He voluntarily took it upon himself to watch after them when they left. He was at the bar with them, okay? And so he took it upon himself to walk them to the food truck to make sure they'd be okay, okay? It was, it was his, out of the graciousness of his heart, that he did it. 
And uh, so anyway, he had no reason to converse with him while he was there, while they were there. Uh, so, but when it, when they left, I saw he threw his hands up like, well, where are they hell going, you know? Uh-huh. Uh, I'm supposed to be looking out for him, you know, looking out after him. Right. And then he and just walked away, you know, like in disgust. I would have done the same thing. You know, if I if I'd have been with him at the bar and said, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk you to the food truck, to make sure you're okay, because uh-huh. y'all are kind of tipsy, you know. And then they walk off with a no explanation. I'd have been mad too. I mean, you're like, you know, kind of like just throw my hands up, like. Yeah, but he might not even have done that. We assume that that's what he's doing. He just he sort of flipped an arm over there, but he could have just said, "Okay, hey, see you later." You know, like be safe. We don't know what he said, right? I mean, the thing is, is mm-hmm. we uh, we as people. When you think somebody is guilty of something, we assign other things all the time. Mm-hmm. Just like in, like, oh, um, Madison's arguing with the guy. She says, F you, mm-hmm. mister, but she's not even pointing at him. So it's totally bogus. Mm-hmm. And, you know, just take a really basic sort of understanding of just spatial information to know that that's not what she was saying to that person as a matter of fact the big guy says she was talking to him <laughs> so that actually right. makes sense because yeah. he that angle of the shadow would have been pointing right at him given where the light right. was yeah that's right because she was pointing at the, the stout guy with the cap on. yeah but well her and shadow right. on the ground pointed right to the hoodie guy except for her whole shadow in general was almost a 40 degree angle to the left. Exactly. So that means her arm sticking out, you have to kind of, um, where it was mm-hmm. over here, you got to rotate it to the right to make it mm-hmm. uh, perpendicular. And then you'd see where she was pointing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, but anybody, people are guessing too much. It's, oh, there's too much guessing. Um, yeah, yeah. And, um, and it's getting to the point. It's almost like they're guessing just to keep the story going, you know? It's like they're trying to keep yeah, it going on YouTube that, or something. Yeah, like, yeah. uh, All yeah. right. Well, anyways, i got to get these. Um, I've got a whole bunch of people know. on hold here. Do you got one, any last thoughts? Or? No, I just want to say thank you for everything because I, I, I'm with you every night. I, I'm cool. new. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> new here. Uh, and I've never, I've been bragging on you about to everybody I know. I mean, you got to. And there I was job, saying, right? can't you see the numbers on the screen? <laughs> <laughs> Now you're like, oh, man, why did I say that? <laughs> right? <laughs> I forgive you, darling. I forgive you. All right. Okay. I'm a Southern girl. I forgive you. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Especially the way you said that. All right. Well, have a uh, great Talk evening. Thanks for calling in. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. Got to love the, the Southern accents out there, right? And the caller before, I appreciate you calling in, but um, just because you have kids and everything doesn't mean... That what you're thinking is more logical just because your kid acts a certain way uh, you see that all the time you see people say well my kid would have done this or I would have done this therefore it's really weird do you ever see that when people go man why didn't they call 911 I would have so wow this is crazy well no um, you know there's a lot of people that wouldn't have called 911 or they say, why didn't they run at the end of the bridge? How come they didn't run? I would have. I tell my kids to do this all the time, and they should have. Well, they didn't. So, you know. So that's just kind of how it is. And so when somebody starts doing the, do you have any kids, Gray? Well, be, the reason I'm saying that is because I'm going to try to discredit your entire opinion because I do, and therefore what I say is absolutely the truth. And where you're coming from and your thinking process is totally bogus. Hey, thanks, Noreen Gardner. All right, so those kind of, I can sniff those sort of arguments out right away. You know, they're, they don't, they don't uh, it's hard to get past. And, and <laughs> the funny thing is, as I said, um, that's what you're trying to imply. No, no, no. And then all of a sudden, boom, that's exactly, and she goes, well, you're right, I was. So anyways, uh, I don't, I didn't, the call was cool other than that, but, uh, you know. And by the way, everybody, if you could hit the like button for me, that would be absolutely awesome. And thank you very much, Noreen Gardner. But uh, I would, you know, if the caller wants to call in again sometime, that's great. But I had to get on, I didn't want to keep, once somebody does that on a call, I got to get moving to the next one. All right, what's up? 
I don't know what to say. P pool. What's going on? Hello. Zenda, what's going on? Five, four, three. We are not, uh, we are not speaking. Mm. You're a snowflake? Hi, how are you doing? Nance in the woods? Hey, what's going on? Eh, not so bad. Obviously, we are a dreadful case. You're kind of, uh, like, breaking up a little bit. Eh, I'm, I'm actually on a, a kind of new device. Um, <laughs> I know for the first time. Yeah. Um, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. Um, it was just about how uh, 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 Kelly's dad mentioned that her and Maddie were killed in two different ways. Mm -hmm. And just trying to think what what those ways could be. Obviously, there's, there's one that's stabbing. Yeah, maybe one maybe was. Um... You know, it was a lot more brutal, and what, you know, it was obviously they were stabbed, and they didn't say that there was any other mechanism uh, that killed them. You know, I thought maybe one was strangled, maybe one, but it sounds like they were all killed with a sharp weapon, uh, but one was apparently way more brutal than the others. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, if, if it were the angulation of other methods, I mean, that's obviously a really personal. The, the kill you're looking in someone's eye, and obviously it requires a bit of extent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, your your audio is really just broken up, so it's not nobody can even understand what you're saying, really. Right. I'll, I'll, I'll call in another thing, Gray. It's just I'm, I'm, I'm on a new device here, and it's it's not probably set up right. <laughs> okay. Well, you, um, okay. yeah, it was like when you call in, but you got to get that one fixed. Sure. Right. No problem. Right, take, take care, man. See you, bye. bye. Yeah. Yeah, so, so look at this right here. I mean, if you remove that floor, look at these rooms. They're clones of each other, right on top of each other. See that? I mean, this is literally... This door goes to the bed upstairs that is in... Uh, Zena's room and then right down at the bottom is where the other roommate lived literally wall for wall uh, similar maybe a different maybe not a closet oh that's a screwed up gotta fix that while I'm sitting here I hate shit like that wait a minute what's what's going on here yeah here we go Group. Yeah, no, I can do that. I think that's good right there. There we go. Not sure what that was about. That's not really visible because it was inside of a corner there, but my brain wouldn't have liked it. Uh, there we go. Four nine or nine four nine. Hey, Gray. It's Mark from California. Hey, what's going on, Mark from California? Hey, hey yeah, uh, I'm the golf pro. I I hooked on this case, and you talked about the food court uh, food truck guy again, mm -hmm. and um, I um, wanted to ask you. Now, we've always been looking at the hoodie guy. Mm -hmm. And the first time I watched the video, and it was the first day, actually, I found your channel, I immediately saw the big guy looking at the hoodie guy as many times as the hoodie guy was looking at the girl. If you go back to your video, you, you could go through it at your own time. Check that out, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Like, he was almost stalking that guy. And then he's the one that actually approaches uh, the hoodie guy. Mm -hmm. And now then you but he was just kind of waiting for his food to show up and then after the hoodie guy mm -hmm. leaves he just sits around there for a while and gets his food I don't see anything the there. Yeah. in second he's looking at him like on yeah, right but I mean you, you know because they're attract you know they're pretty they're drinking goes over and no. talks to him but then he's waiting the, for 
Uh, yeah, I just, I mean, you're, the, you're over analyzing, I can tell. The big guy looking at the booty guy never looking at the girl. He, yeah, but what does I it matter like to you, I guess? He's a big guy that, at the end of the... Um, the yeah, I know who the big video. guy is. We were just pointing at him, but what, what, what are you trying to say about him? I, I'm seeing him looking at the hoodie guy, and maybe he's, and now he's now being told off at the end, like fuck, you know, like the word the girl said to him. And you point out that he was actually talking to the big guy. Yeah. And yeah. now, at the beginning of the video, he's actually looking at the hoodie guy like eight, nine, ten different times, like. When he's like, people are talking, he'll look at the guy. Yeah, I know, I saw that, but what, but, what, but what's the point of it? Well, do you think he's drawing a picture of a, uh, like, I don't know. It just looks like he, he was more in tune to the, the guy with the hoodie, and then, he's put, and then he pushes himself up onto him, and then he's been told off. And I'm just wondering if there's something there that you see. To who? Yeah, because we all you mean like he was interested stuff. in the guy with the hoodie? What, I mean, what does he have to do with, well, the, with Kaylee and Madison? A, 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 no, not much Madison. He's looked at the hoodie guy more than... I know, but I, I, I know that. You keep saying that. I'm not trying to get... What difference does uh, that make, I though? I looked at it, maybe he was trying to like figure out who this guy was, and then once he realized he was there to protect them, and then he was told off. Maybe he, he had this alibi now in his head. Maybe he's like, you know, a serial killer. Who? You know, and I'm not trying uh, the big guy. Well, what the hell are you talking the about? He went, he actually sat around and for, they, they all left and then he waited and he finally got his food and he sat there for a long time yeah, after that. But at the beginning of the video when they oh, walked Jesus. in, within five seconds of that video, he started staring at the big the, the hoodie guy. Yeah, but, and but so you think he was just, okay? So okay, here's what you're thinking, man: is he just yeah. is a random serial killer that's unrelated? But you, you're you're suspicious of him just being a weirdo that might have killed somebody else. Been looking, <laughs> mm -hmm. And then he well, no, come you on, know, you have to, Jesus, what does he have to do with? Well, it, here, let me ask you this: I, you keep like talking. When I, uh, what does he have to do with Kaylee and Madison and Zena? And Ethan being killed. Well, they know each other because you can see that he, they were in the same group. And and all I'm saying is, you can see the big guy projecting out to the the, the guy that we all had suspicion with. Mm -hmm. And that was the first time I caught that. And if I'm, I see it. And if he's done it eight or nine times in a video, and no one else mentions it, maybe there's something off. That's all. And and. Hmm. I know at yeah, the end, no. now you pointed out today that he was told off. He was basically, you could see... No, but he, he admitted it too, though. Wouldn't he hide that from people? He said, no, she was talking well, to I me. Talk and then he's all he's been out there already. And he said that uh, he told him that they were just getting a ride. Uh, he was making sure that they made it home. He's been on other shows and things out there. People got a hold of him. You know, I'm just, just I'm just looking at his what his body was doing, looking at this guy, mm. and I know he, it, it was way more than I would have. Yeah, I would have been like, well, right. "Who is this guy?" Is, well, is let me just say, I know you him? sound like you're uh, somewhat new to like true crime and stuff like that. What I wouldn't yeah, do, but, what I wouldn't do, is try to uh, read too much into body language and stuff because people are never, uh, it's very rarely correct. Okay, and right. but everybody no, thinks I, that they're really good at it, right? especially after the Chris Watts case. Boy, everybody had that one nailed in so they're all experts but uh, I wouldn't be looking at stuff like that they're just sort of waiting well, around I they only, bought food and you know the only reason I brought it up not the first time was because you showed the video today of him being cursed out and I go wow I wonder if that had something to do with all the times he was looking at this guy like checking them out making sure he was gonna hurt these girls you know or mm. if it's not that it could have been something you know, yeah. like Oh, they must be scared or something. You know, I don't know. I, I okay. Well, how about this? How about this? I'll just say this. I don't agree with you. But hey, let's okay. say at some point, it, if it turns out it's the big guy, I'll go. Wow, that was amazing. No, but, I don't uh, need that. I just wanted to ask you <laughs> to take a look how many times he checked out the the hoodie. No, guy I watched it the first time. I, I saw him. I was watching, but he's not the guy that walked in and was standing back watching the two girls. You keep saying he was checking yeah. out the hoodie guy. Who cares if he's yes, checking out the Jack person? I, I really don't care. Well, you know. Well, if somebody's trying to figure out, like, well, I'm on video, and he knows he's on video, and he's and he knows that the girls are scared, and he has like 
personal security uh, or whatever. You know, I, I, I don't know. I'm assuming too much. Obviously, I, yeah. I, um, we all want to catch the guy. Mm-hmm. So um, I just want you to, if you notice the big guy looking at the hoodie guy like eight or nine times in that video, mm-hmm. and that's what I saw the same night that the, the hoodie mm-hmm. guy was checking out the girl. Mm-hmm. And, and I just put those two together for some mm-hmm. reason. And then when you pointed it out today, this audio came up. I was like, wow. Yeah. I wonder, you know, maybe the, All right. you know, staring. I, I <laughs> okay. Added- well, anyways, that you, you got your thought out there, and it's on record. So let's see what happens. But i got to get oh, these, I, these other calls. Thank but you. I appreciate you calling in. Have All a good right. one. See. All right. Yeah, I don't, I don't buy into that one. But really, I mean. I mean, it just what? What are the odds? So this other guy shows up, and then this serial killer f- somehow figured out how to. I don't know. It just seems really far fetched and uh, like over imagination. Okay, now, but guess what, everybody? Sometimes the crazy imaginations of people turn out to be true. Isn't that wild? Mm. No, Bobby. No. Huh? What are you talking about, one shot? Hoodie guy was watching. Girls in they die in big guy calls hoodie guy a guardian angel. That's really weird. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Because that's what he was there for. He was there to try to make sure they made it home and he, they got it right with somebody else. There's mosquitoes the size of bald eagles in that dead gum swamp. Five brain cells, four aren't working. Yep. All right, Chris, you're on. Hello. Oh, hello, hello, hello. hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can all hear you. Believe me. Uh, what's going on? Okay, so let me. Oh man, I can't. I don't do. I'm not gonna do a long story when you. If you're gonna say, let me backtrack by filling you in with some no. information. No, no, Just no, tell no, me no. what you uh, think. <laughs> no, I'm, no, I need to say this before. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give an in, a preface of what my theory is. Okay. Like whenever people are talking about, oh, like the roommates didn't wake up, like they, or people speculating that maybe they were involved. No, yeah. I've been in their fucking shoes. I'm sorry about my cursing, um, mm-hmm. but I've been there, and I have been. I I used to live by myself when I was in college, and my apartment was like party city. You know, like everyone would go there and like hang out and all all the time. Me and my friends, we would. Me and one of my friends, Cammy, we would like pass out earlier than everyone else and there were times where like even the police like came in and raided the apartment and i didn't have like a a different like stories it was just a one bedroom apartment yeah and i would fall asleep and there would be like fights brawls the police would come take people to jail and stuff and i would not wake up yeah let's just just get to the um this what, what is your theory here Okay, I have two theories. Either one of the, uh, either Ethan or Zena were targeted, or, which I think it's the most plausible thing, is uh, one of the girls on the third floor was mm. targeted. Yeah. And I liked your video, what you did with the whole, like, going through the. But, house. Gray, I would have I, had him I, go I, upstairs first and then go down to. Yeah. Right. Everybody says the same thing. I, 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 I haven't. No, no, but here's the thing: is I was be. gonna do the other version. I just haven't got to that mm-hmm. one yet. I, I know that there's another route. It just takes forever. So I figured I would put that one out first. No. And then maybe I'll uh, come back and make the second one it, where. It, you know. it doesn't really matter. It just shows like, it shows the the play like perfectly. And you know what? I'm gonna tell you this. I'm not like a huge 
like fan of yours. I'm not like a freak, like how you call them, but I really like what you do when it comes to recreating scenes and stuff like that. Uh-huh. That is, I will give you that. That is amazing. Like uh-huh. with the whole Kanika Johnson thing. As well, well, it's Kanika Jenkins. That's probably why you aren't a, Jenkins, a big fan yeah. because you don't even know. The I, I've been, I've been character. following you for like uh, years and years. Okay. Right. Uh, but I really like that video because it kind of shows like it doesn't matter if they went in that room uh-huh. first or in the third floor first. But I think my theory is they targeted either one of the girls in the third floor or the people in the second floor. And yeah. then the other party woke up and they encountered the killer. And then the killer uh-huh. followed them back to their room because obviously they're it, it doesn't matter which which room you're in if you encounter the killer coming out you don't have a way to like escape because you will see the person like covered in blood with a freaking knife in their hand right. so what will you do you will retreat back into your room so that's what happened they went back into like either follow the girls up into the third floor into their room and killed them over there and that's why they say they have like defensive wounds someone had defensive wounds either the people on the third floor or the people on the second floor but someone had defensive wounds and they were all they were not all in bed that's what i'm saying right so it's either or i'm not saying it's like oh for sure like the girls in the third floor i would bet money on it's the people on the third floor and then the people on the second floor heard it and when the killer was coming out encountered them and they recognized the killer because he wasn't wearing maybe not wearing a mask or anything and they they're like oh let's say the killer is called like well let let me but here's the thing you've already added so many things that are just in your imagination that way but but i like your theory i mean the thing is is um it's just is what it is you know it's uh, i mean there have been a hundred people that have said the exact same theory you're just adding a little bit more imagination into it that's yeah, all you're I doing guess so. yeah. yeah i guess so yeah but i think that that's what, like it i don't think that the killer was like oh i'm gonna kill these four people that's mm-hmm. all i'm saying right. i don't think that they were they were going I think they went there to kill all four people. But anyways, I got to I got to get yeah, I got I'm going to get to the next call. I hey, but I, I appreciate one you calling in. Or two people. Thank you. All right, let me get to this one here. Uh, 404, you're on. Hey there. My <laughs> name is Becca and I'm calling from Georgia. Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> hey, yeah. um I just had a couple of things that I was thinking about today that a little bit of new information to me anyway which one of which is how close Jack the boyfriend's home is to the house where all the murders well happened. if it's the and same one that I was just showing on the screen it's 67 yards right and the line mm-hmm. of sight from his windows to theirs was pretty crazy yeah um, uh-huh. and then the house that he lived in um, he lived on the second floor Apparently, if, it, if this information is accurate, and I think that it is the, the source I saw it on. But the alibi is that the lower floor roommate said, I know he didn't leave because I was downstairs and he never came downstairs. But it, they showed a picture of that home and the second floor windows were to a point you could have either jumped out kind of kind of like the the murder house i'll call it is towards a hill you know uh-huh. how it's you can jump out of a window onto a hill basically you're not just you're not falling down 20 yeah. feet i mean i'm not sure why everybody and keeps saying that it just feels like it's like i don't know <laughs> they jumped out a window or, and it well just, it's just a possibility it even showed how you could yeah. potentially even get on the roof from that level walk across and then again jump down onto that hill and get right. back in the same woods go back to that sliding glass door it's just a thought um i'm i don't i don't know if and i think it's odd that if kaylee's targeted who would know that she was there that weekend to start with that's kind of weird to me 
I'm sure that the ex-boyfriend probably did know and was probably wondering what the hell she was doing, <laughs> um, going out, being out. So I think he was awake, and I'm sure he was wondering mm. and waiting. And it's interesting that we found out they put the dog in a different room. So those are my two things that make me kind of lean a little bit more towards him. The, the proximity, the possibilities that he could have gotten out. Mm -hmm. The dog was in a different room, and apparently he he's good with the hunting and K-bars. Just my thoughts. Yeah, I mean, he was an, an athlete and stuff, but, I mean, we don't really, they all we know is that police said at this time they um, don't consider him a suspect or something like that. It, right, right. Well, I, but they I did at to, one point because they didn't clear him for days and days and days. I know. That's always been so strange. So maybe, you know, maybe they're still holding out. I don't know. I don't know. But I just didn't real, realize just how close those homes were and how, that he could actually literally see in the windows. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, he could have seen him come home. Yeah. But, uh, well, I've looked at some of these pictures. Like, you look at these pictures. It's kind of a far drop. I mean, it's not like a, I'm looking at it right now. Even if you, you'd have to jump and you'd go down about 10 feet to land on a, and get lucky, you have to jump out and land on this ridge. It just doesn't make sense to me. I think it's right. just overthinking. It's the, I know. People trying to make Unless a case into like Indiana street. Jones meets <laughs> uh, kill. You know, just, why not just think of some, what's more reasonable? Probably came through well, the I'm, sliding glass he, door I'm, or some other place and, you know. That, that's easy. Yeah, that's yeah, far more reasonable. But I'm just, yeah, beyond jumping out the yeah. window or going across the roof, which is a little bit insane. I Do you think, think he might have swung on a rope to get up on top? Like literally went back and forth and went, woo, and just flung himself up there. <laughs> Had one of those little devices where they shoot it out of a gun with a uh, hook on it, a grappling hook. And then he, and, a, and he held, holds onto it and it reels himself in. And he was wearing all black, and it was they. And he had this little headset on that was playing the hey, Mission Greg, Impossible music. Great, yeah, great. You're being such a meanie right now. Oh come on! I'm, no, cry. I'm just serious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just goofing uh, around. Anyway, yeah. Uh, well, I appreciate you having me on. Yeah, but what, what do you what do you think? Um, who did he kill first? Uh, you know what? I'm back and forth on that. I don't have a real good firm answer for you. I mean, both rooms are, you know, way. people always, like the father says, he didn't have to go upstairs. Well, you could say, well, he, when you say that, it means a whole bunch of different things. To me, it's, yeah. Um, well, you thought that uh, Ethan was the target or Zena, and so why did he go upstairs? Or um, mm -hmm. he went upstairs, he didn't, it's out of the way to go upstairs. Well, guess what? Ethan and Zena's room is totally out of the way. It isn't. A straight line yeah. shot to anything. You have to know it's there. You'd have to go in, up a little tiny one step, into another place, turn left, go down a hall, and boom, it's right there. What would make you go into yeah. that room? And what's weird is both that room and Kaylee's room are visible from that house that you mentioned earlier. So Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I think I'm just leaning more and more towards him, and he knows. Although I mean, the window isn't, there's tough. no window on that side, so. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, my first time calling. I really like your show. It wasn't that bad, right? For I mean, even though I did do the grappling I hook. I survived. I, I survived. <laughs> you made it through the gauntlet, man. You're amazing. I made it through the gauntlet. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you. Thanks, Greg. All right, for sure. Night. Have a good one. All right. I got to go use the uh, facilities, though. So here, here we go. Oh, and thank you, Wild Mountain Time. Just want to say how much I love Gray and the Freaks. I'm so glad to be part of this community. Boom! Well, thank you. Great having you here as well.
Well, I get get some more liquid. <laughs> Green forests of the Pacific Northwest. I bid you all good evening or good morning as the case may be. There's one hour left on this ridiculous show tonight. Unbelievable. We've got everything from ninjas to alien spacecraft as the theories tonight. And <laughs> you won't believe what's coming up next, everybody. You won't believe it. <laughs> Alright, anyways, let me get the regular. Alright, 303, you're on. Hello. 303. Yeah, what's up, Gray? How's it going, man? Hey, what's going on? Who's this? This is Jim Juan from Denver. Jim, all right, another Jim. Hey, what do you got? Yeah, hold on one, hold on one sec. Let me shut off the channel here. I'm use, I'm doing it both on my device. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm good. Can you hear me now? Yep, yep, I can hear you. Right on. Uh, yeah, like I said, so <laughs> trying to listen to the show and be on hold, and then got the Zoom music going on, so mm -hmm. um, yeah, didn't catch all of it, but a couple of things I want to tell you about. So. I grew up on the East Coast. I'm from like I moved around a lot growing up. I lived in like eight different states before I was 17. But it's roof R O O F. <laughs> yeah, we all know what it is. I just say I say roof. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people say yeah, roof. Yeah, so, they just go, yeah, my roof. Yeah, we got the, you know. Yeah. A lot of work so, like, to New say. England. Roof. It's a lot of work to work to say roof. Okay. Yeah, 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 East Coast, down in Mid Atlantic, like Maryland. It's, it's all roofing there. Once you get yeah. out to Michigan, yeah, I think it is called. I think even over here we say roofing, but when you just refer to your like what's on top of your house, you just say, "Yeah, my roof is leaking." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, uh, speaking of accents, that Lillian that calls it every night, she's a sweetheart, but she's got to be from, I guarantee you, she's from southwest New Jersey, right by Philadelphia, Who? the way she talks. Who? Lillian. The, oh, yeah. Lillian, yeah. I think her name is. Uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Just, Let's just talk like, about this uh, show. It's like every... What do, you, what do you got for, I mean, uh, I don't mean, I'm not sure. Oh, for the show. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, you don't need but, to talk uh, about yeah, college. I agree with <laughs> you know, it's like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, the boyfriend, uh, jealous rage, has to be. Mm -hmm. I yeah. mean, I. Well, when you say uh, has to be, we don't really know, but, you know, um, it, it sounded like a pretty good theory at the beginning, for sure. Well, I mean, like he, he's got the like. If you wanted, to, if he was, if there's just a random psycho killer up there, he could just go buy a Chewbacca, you know, and 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 kill somebody. But this was a passion, rage, revenge, like yeah. jealous heart. Well, I always thought it was like the person heart. blames uh, the four that were killed are the ones that they blame for the reason that he's not going to be able to be with her. You know, uh, Kaylee, yeah. I thought it was, first I thought it was Madison, and then I thought it was Kaylee, because uh, I think, you know, my theory was the boyfriend, um, you know, but um, I think, I think every person that was killed 
the person intended to kill. I don't think there was, like, they only meant to kill one and had to kill three other people because, you know, things just went awry. It just doesn't make a lot yeah. of sense to me. Yeah, I'm, well, I mean, it's, 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 some, it's, it's some dude that's a spurn lover tied to one of those girls in that house that knew them all and came back at, there just seeing red and just lost his mind, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Because, I mean, you know, I'm 40 years old. Like, I remember being in college. I had a girlfriend cheat on me. I, I, you know, just that jealous rage. I wasn't going out there with knives. I went out there and, you know. Yeah, I mean, when you're young like that, fight you feel with more. with a dude. Yeah, yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. I so, agree. It's got it. It's somehow connected to him. They know him. It's it's a dude that is going after the like you said all of them. But he uh, he was spurned by one of those young ladies in that house. Mm -hmm. is, yeah, is, is that's kind of like the main the yeah. theory. Regardless if it's the boyfriend, it's some some guy that thinks they would have been with this girl if not for those meddling other roommates. Yeah. Something like that. And then here's another thing, too, is that whole Greek life, at least the colleges that I went to, I transferred to a couple, I think you did, too. Mm. There's a little bit of an elitist attitude there, like, oh, you can't come in for this party or this or that. And, you know, there's like... Right. Bullying and clicky, yeah. So maybe it's yeah, uh, like that. Maybe they humiliated them at the party. And they you also know? really don't. They stick together. Like if there's something that was weird that happened, let's say uh, Ethan got in an argument with some guy at the party. There, nobody's going to come forward at the party in that house to say, "Yeah, he got in an argument with somebody." They're going to protect that person. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That's like you were it. saying the other couple weeks ago, like at your. Yeah. The, mm -hmm. dude, like when my brother forever. when my brother died in the fraternity, they had a chapter meeting really quick and just sort of like, okay, don't say this, don't, and they just wouldn't say anything. I mean, it was the stupidest thing. Like, yeah. even though he wasn't like a murder or anything like that, but he died of uh, they, there was like coke in his system or something. But his heart, he didn't do a lot of coke or anything. It was just that it made his heart beat funny and. You know, that's why I had to yeah. do all these tests on me to see if I had something congenital or something. But he, you know, they just had a, a chapter meeting and hit and covered it all up. It was crazy. I mean, it was yeah, it's unbelievable. And here's the other thing, too. Like, if, if, if the kid showed up at one of the parties and like, tried to, like, you know, meet up with his ex-girlfriend or even if it was some other, you know, could be any various scenarios. But, you know, those frat boys, they'll team up on you. You know, they're not going to fight you one on one. You know, maybe he got his ass kicked by like three different dudes. Mm -hmm. and got pissed off, and then you know followed him back. Who knows? Right. You know that, that Ethan could have been uh, the guy who's going off. I don't know. That's, yeah. Well, the, what's what's hard is if it is Ethan, then what the what the. Well, I'm just in the middle of a sentence. If it is Ethan yeah. and the, um, uh, let's see, and the father of Kaylee said. There were, he didn't have to go upstairs. That makes a total sense. Because if it was, let's say Ethan is the target. And then uh, the killing happens upstairs. Why would the person need to go upstairs? And then all of a sudden now law enforcement's wanting to get more information on the timeline of Ethan and Zena. And people go, well, they just haven't filled it in yet. Right, right. But why would they even care? Uh, or want to spend so much time on that if they don't they think that um kaylee was the target what would what would zena and ethan have to do with a target i mean if they're at a party and all this kind of stuff and what they were doing what does that have to do with um kaylee being murdered <laughs> i mean I, i'm just saying it just for me it's it's it really it means a lot more to me than it seems like a lot of other people that they switch to wanting to see that, but it also makes it feel like they're kind of stuck somewhere and they're kind of grasping at straws, look trying to figure out that kind of information. Yeah, it's yeah, I mean it's 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 bizarre, but it's definitely somebody that knows them, and I think there may have been yeah. some type of a fight earlier in the night 
uh, or some yeah. altercation or run in. So. That's what it seems like. That's why I think that right. I think oh. that, that was my theory with the boyfriend. And thanks, uh, 100 Dundee and uh, Chrissy. I just think that uh, you know my original theory was that uh, you know I mean the boyfriend thing just sort of checked all the boxes. But somebody comes home, comes over to the house, and is confronting everybody like how come you didn't come over in there like hey just get over it man she's she's moving on she's gonna and then he storms off angry and that's why they called him a couple times and he doesn't answer the phone and then he comes back later and something happens now that that's that was just a theory based on you know the information actually that was given you know the phone calls them breaking up re not too long ago, them sharing a dog, and that she was moving. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a, a picture of this. Imagine if she came into town with a new car and didn't even let him know. And uh, <laughs> she's out there on the town, like, drinking with somebody else, and, like, one of their mutual friends calls him up and says, Hey, yeah, I just saw your girlfriend down at the bar and talking to some dudes. <laughs> He gets pissed off, goes over to the house, there's confrontation, then he just goes into a room. Mm-hmm. You still there? Oh, yeah. Looks like you did. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's like she broke up with him, she's done, she's moving on, new car, new everything. Came into town, didn't even let him know. And then right. he finds out from a third yeah. party that she's in town and he just She's out at a party and and gets, yeah, know, gets he's, he's stewing off. around. He's angry, you know. Yeah, goes over there, leaves, then comes back. Because what? Well, yeah, because it makes you wonder why at two twenty-six in the morning. Yeah, I mean, people are drunk sometimes. They want to make calls, but why take the extra step to have Madison attempt to call? It's almost like they really, she really wanted to make to try to get a hold of him for some reason. And what that is, no. you know, we don't know. Maybe there was a weirdo sitting around in the living room but no. if there was a weirdo sitting around in the living room when they came home why would they go to sleep at all i mean man i would probably be uh yeah. you know or now that i'm thinking about a mad picture of this she comes into town he doesn't know about it they're broken up he's heartbroken she's said i'm you know like i'm moving on with my life he finds out she's in town he go goes over there they get in an argument, and that Ethan seems like a pretty big dude. I'm a short dude. I'm five seven. So, like, what if he, they get in a shoving match? Maybe he gets punched in the face and he gets pissed off. So now he's lost his girlfriend and he's been humiliated. Mm -hmm. Leaves. They try to call him, like, "Hey, sorry, are you okay? Is everything okay?" You know? mm. Yeah. To, to exact revenge. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, I got to get these other calls, but uh, good uh, thoughts in there. Appreciate it. All right, man. Hey, one last. <laughs> yeah, you're 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 cutting out like I can. In barely... the top of the call, and you're. <laughs> yeah, say it again. <laughs> you're talking about a that. No, just I'll leave you with this, dude. Like you're a funny dude when you're talking about that that guy with the sniffing farts. Like wow, oh, yeah. oh, wow. <laughs> I know, but he said he said I he said I have a resting fart face. So I was thinking, <laughs> how does one know what a what that looks like? You must be studying them. What a strange person! It's a good way to just turn it on them, right? I mean, they're just like so, sound like a weird creep, right? Yeah, <laughs> right on, dude. Yeah. All, All right. right, great. Have a good night, bro. Yeah, have a good one. See ya. Bye. <laughs> two two nine. What's going on? Hello. Hello. Yep, who's this? How are you doing? Pretty good. What do you got? Don't we just get the, what do you got for uh, the thought? This is Debbie from Cairo, Georgia. From where, Georgia? Can you turn down your audio, please, in the background? Uh, I mean, it seems like a standard that everybody in the world knows, but for some reason... People Cairo. Don't. How do you spell it? Can you turn down the uh, audio, please, in the background and use your phone, not the audio in the background? 
I'll, I'll give you five seconds, and then I'm going to move on to a different call. Oh, Jesus. I gotta go. All right, I'm going to just mute you. I'll get on. I figure it out at some point. I got to go to another one. Uh, two zero eight. You're on. Hello, my name is Robert. Uh, I think I called in a couple days ago, yeah. but I have to agree with uh, that one guy, Jim, that you were just talking to yeah. about the ex-boyfriend. Well, yeah, well, I mean, I made a video no. about it three weeks ago, a uh, whole theory, 20-minute long video based on all the information. Uh, then I took it and put it into for channel members only. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I, I originally found your channel through, uh, what was it, the hoodie guy? Mm-hmm. Uh, whenever you were showing, you know, and, you know, the more I think about it, it's just like, you know, it wouldn't make sense for him to kill four people, you know. I mean, there usually has to be some kind of motive. I mean, usually either drugs or relationship or, you know. Yeah, well, if effect, somebody's a target, know? that means somebody, it uh, sounds like the dad of, of Kaylee thinks it's her, so then you look at, and isn't that weird? Out of all the four people, it comes back around to the same person that was in that theory. And I had that theory for no other reason than just the situation that was going on. So that was like a 25% chance at the time. And now it's like, wow, that's the one that uh, Kaylee's dad thinks was the target. So if there's a target, that means somebody... Uh, yeah. probably feels jilted in some way. That's usually that type of anger like that. Well, that's just like with that Post Falls uh, memorial service that they had. I noticed that uh, that when, you know, most of the people talked there, and uh, Jack, you know, he didn't say much, and I, I think everybody's seen that video where he's looking at the, the dad, mm -hmm. and the dad walks away, and it's like he's kind of uh, distancing himself, but he's not really saying anything, you know, it's just, I mean, this is speculation, but it just, you know, seemed a little odd. All right. Uh, I so mean, what? you know, and I'm not saying he did it, but he, he's definitely, uh, you know, he's a suspect. He'd have to be. Right. Well, I mean, they, they actually yeah. were looking at him. They were looking at him yeah. for sure. Uh, Kaylee's par uh, parents. It's, you know what? The one part that's so weird to me is how Kaylee's parents spent a lot of their time clearing her boyfriend. Like, they spent a lot yep. of time saying, well, yeah, he didn't have anything to do with it. No, he didn't have anything to do with it. I don't know why the police were looking at him. He has nothing to do with it. And they keep saying and it. And they say it in they every freaking interview, it. almost like they're trying to sort of make him feel Convincive. safe and, <laughs> you know, like he's sa he feels safe and he might, you know, um, not run away or hide or something. You know, it's like he's... I don't know. You know, and I wonder if maybe they're looking to see if maybe that they're seeing if he's making any suspicious activities, like trying to get rid of the, the weapon or whatever, you know? I don't know. I mean, mm -hmm. it would seem like uh, they want him to let his guard down or something. Right. That's right. That's what it seems but, uh, like. You know, because if it was, a you know, like a random serial killer, just like uh, your last caller, Jim, I think was his name, you know, something that he made a point on is that there's a lot of drunk people that are walking around outside that, you know, the college and stuff that late at night. They could easily have targeted somebody else, and it would have been a lot easier. Yeah. You know, rather than just going to a house that you don't know. And, you know, there could be a gun living in one of those bedrooms. Or, yeah. You know, I think you obviously do the home because of how strange the layout is, and it's not like straight lines to anybody. You know, going to yeah. Zena's room is totally out of the way, and then going up the stairs is a choice to go up there. And, you know, I, I do picture the person, if, if it is Kaylee, that you would think the person who knew Kaylee might go to her room first if they had been watching her, if it's not the boyfriend or whatever. And yeah. then maybe tried that door, looked in there, and was like, oh. You know, the, and then went down to the other room, well, and that little, that's why they're together. That little know? step yeah. that you were talking about that you make that goes right into the heads down toward the living room, I think it is. Yeah. And then it goes over to the swings toward the bathroom and uh, Xana's room. Yeah. You you know, if the person didn't know that, they could easily bump into that, you know, and trip and make a big sound there with those laminated floors. And yeah, especially it when it's probably pretty dark sound. in there, and you might just trip on them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly.
Yeah. But, you know, you I like I like I like your stuff there. I'm I, you know I'm a fan of your material there, and I love the 3D plan. And like I said, I kind of tried to make my own with my Chromebook, but it's nothing like yours. But uh, yeah. good stuff, man. Hey, I appreciate it. Thanks for calling in. Got a good one. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to waste any more of your time, but thank well, you. Not wasting. No, it's good stuff. Thank you. Bye. All right. You have a good one. Bye. Yeah. So I don't know. Was that three uh, the one that called before? I just don't have time to sit around and wait. I mean, I said it multiple times that you got to turn down the audio in the background. And I'm not going to be one of those people that just sits there and goes, yeah, I'll just wait, I'll just wait. Now, if you call back in, I will, um, I'll put you on. I don't know what the area code was for that person. Though. It was, it was 229, you're saying? But you got to make sure that when you call in, if you're listening to uh, the video on YouTube using your another phone or a computer, you have to turn it off and use your phone because that's what I'm talking to you on. We're, there's like a 20 second delay. So it's like, hey, how are you doing? Not bad, thank you. Um, so what, do you have any thoughts? Yeah, I have some thoughts. Well, what are those thoughts? Well, I was just wondering if um, you had any luck uh, on your... Mu uh, you see how that just... Wow, it just doesn't work, you know. All right, Rosie, you're on. What's going on, Rosie? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Rosie, what's going on, Rosie? Rosie apparently has nothing to say. <laughs> what's going on, Rosie? Just start talking. Oh, there we go. Sorry. Yeah, there you go. I was just about to you put you on mute. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I, I, I was trying. I'm so bad with this kind of stuff. Okay. What's going on? All right. So I, I'm mainly calling to, okay, I'm not bragging, but last time I, I, I called and we talked right at the beginning of this case, mm -hmm. and I was like, look how Maddie's pointing at that guy. And you were like, what that's guy? a nothing burger. Yeah, yeah, because I still think that. He, yeah, I know, I know, which I love. I love that well, you still well, think that. But I'm just saying... But, but she now, wasn't even pointing at him. She was pointing to the right, right. of him. Well, so. she was a little intoxicated. But, oh, okay, but now so, it's okay, like I get it. all, now all news media is like, man, he's pointing at the guy. Because they're idiots. They it's it, they just do this kind of stuff. Okay, but a little, but I, I just... We I all thought, you know, look at, I made a whole video at the very beginning... <laughs> Where there, um, I had a po arrow pointing at it, the guy with a hoodie because he was weird. Yes, but, no, I, I but know. I'm not and saying. Then, but you're saying, oh, look I at that like, pointing. Well, and, well, and then I like watched that video like a million times, and when she when she does that point, I was like, <gasps> and and you said, and you said to me, yeah, you're taking this too seriously. Yeah, well, no, like, what I'm saying, yeah, I did say it, and I still say the exact same thing because. <laughs> I know. She's not even pointing at the guy. You can right. see it just on the screen. She's looking to the right of him. So even if she's drunk, what do you think? Her eyes are like totally like, <laughs> and, and her um, shadow is at like a 40 degree angle to the left. And the her hand is pointing right at him. But you have to rotate the entire system, the hand and her. And then she's pointing uh, to the big guy or to his right. And that's exactly where her eyes are looking. Right. And and the big Well, when guy you keep saying said, right, but then you keep saying, you know, that it's not like it has something to do with the hoodie guy. Well, no. Well, so I, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm still, I still think it could be hoodie guy. I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not, I, I can't. I yeah, can't well, I'm not saying it can't be the hoodie guy, but uh, right. that's definitely not what's going on. They aren't arguing in the video. Um what the, whatever that inside edition has it totally wrong. They they just do sensationalist garbage. Other ones that say in the Delphi case, 
Is that a person at the end of the bridge? No, Inside Edition. It's a barrier. You can see I, it I, right I, there. I, I temporarily thought it was a person because of them. I can't lie. Right, there you go. But, 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 okay, <laughs> so, the, uh, no, I, I did. And, it, and I actually, I watched your stuff. Anyway, so that's honest. not. But, but, <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, is with, so, so I think that she, the, the, the big fellow went on an Instagram live and said that when that happened, she was saying, like, stop, like, like, screw you. Don't make fun of me. That, that was his, that, that's what he said. Right. And he was there. So I think that that is accurate. I think she was pointing to him, whether she was pointing directly the big at guy, him or The not. big guy, the big guy, the big guy. Right. The big guy said that she... No, but the big was, guy said she said F you to him. Right. Well, well no, she said that the, she said that, that the hoodie guy said something like, she's... Oh, yeah. she's drunk. Don't worry about her. And then, and then she points at him and says, you know, mm. oh, you know, don't don't make fun of me. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyways, the big guy that says in, that they were talking to him just recently. But in anyways, his Instagram live, he made it. He yeah. made it sound like she was talking to hoodie guy, but kind of like, oh, like like stop making fun of me for being drunk, kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I just think I'm. But, but I will say, Gray, I do think that um, I, I don't want to hold you up too long, but I, 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 I still love your theory because um, I think the last caller said this too. At at the at the at the memorial service mm. when when the ex boyfriend hugged the mom. Yeah, he was looking looked, at the dad. That was freaking gnarly. But everyone I've, keeps thinking I, the dad looked at him funny. I didn't think so. The dad. Just no, looked the dad at him. looked at him like, "What the hell." No, I don't. I don't think the dad looked at him like he was looking at, at a person. You know, you know what no, I'm wondering. Yes. See, here's what I wonder: is the dad a little like you're the guy that didn't protect my daughter? Like, if it's not mm -hmm. him, I could easily see the dad looking at him like, you know, I, I know you had nothing to do with, it, but you didn't, you didn't even protect my daughter, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, like you lived, you lived seconds away. Yeah. Why weren't you there? And you yeah. didn't answer yeah. the phone. Yeah. And you know. I, to me, gives, to me, uh, people just over, they think they're so sleuthy. <laughs> All I can tell you is that he looks at her, you know, I mean, he looks at the dad, you know, he just has his eyes open, he's looking at the dad, and then the dad just looks the way he looks, but people read too much in, like, they just really know what they're thinking and what it all means, and it's almost never accurate. And then people go, that's not true, Gray, every time I think something, <laughs> it comes out to be true, and it's not. Okay, it's it just isn't so. Well, you uh, you haven't yelled at me yet, so I'm I'm waiting I'm waiting for it. <laughs> oh come on, come on. <laughs> but I do. But okay, so my my last thing is just again. I think I said this to you the first time we talked to you. But w when I lived in a house with all my sorority, all the random sorority girls, um, off campus, it, it was a three story house, and I didn't know what was going on on the story below me or the story above me. I was just yeah. living my best But I bet life. in this one where you have Zena and Ethan room right above one of the other roommates, the ones that, one of the ones that lived, maybe they heard and saw a lot more than people think. I, no, and I agree. But imagine, like, you're hearing, like, thump, 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 and, and you're just like, screw this. I'm locking my door. I'm in bed for the night. Uh -huh. And they could have they locked the door when, when Ethan and Zana got home. Yeah. You know, and not, not, and then just kept hearing nonsense, but just thinking like, whatever, I'm in bed. I just think that it, it's those poor roommates. Oh. Yeah. They're, they're the real, they are, it, it's, it's real tragic for them. Yeah, it's a nightmare. I mean, they're yeah. going to probably be haunted for the rest of their lives <laughs> on it. Yeah. And, and I hate that people are even, the fact that anyone is accusing them is insane. Yeah, I think like it's that's. Stupid. Yeah, I mean, people just have well, with when there's no information, they invent things to be interested in. I mean, the the two roommates have absolutely nothing to do with anything. Yeah, n nothing. That's that's the one. I I'm open to anyone else, any Jack or Jake or Josh or Jeremy. Like, okay, mm. let's talk about it. But those roommates are innocent, and that's when I, yep. I I'll be protective of them. Yep. All right. Well, hey, uh, let's just. Uh, <laughs> I 
I got other I just, colors to do, but do you have any last thoughts there? I just want I just wanted to gloat that when I called you, no one cared about her point. About yeah, but I, I know, but I still don't. And these people are just glomming. They're they're like yesterday's okay, but news. Other people do no, now. I know, so but that I'm doesn't matter if they do now. <laughs> That's just because they're idiots. And and I'm here's the thing: cool. is, they're it. No, it's not cool at all. Actually, it means they ran out of news, and now they're <laughs> pointing. Oh, look where she's pointing. We have a, a secret inside audio and uh, analyst now using digital DNA technology from a YouTuber out there. And what they've discovered was that she says, if you, uh, what is it? Uh, let's see. What was the Mr. word? Mr. Mr. What a joke. What a freaking joke. F you, Mr. You know, it doesn't even say that at all. You can, you can hear the F you part, but it does, you don't hear Mr. Well, great, that's just because you don't have the same technology that they have. Well, how about it's just a, a load of shit, okay? Uh, they are not, uh, she's not saying it to him, and she's not pointing at him. She is pointing at the guy or somewhere else behind the big guy because you can just see where she's looking by watching it. She's not looking at it unless she's got a, a cock eyes, you know? Uh, we don't really know, but anyways, I'm glad that you feel vindicated, but it's anything but, I can tell you that. But your <laughs> your original sensationalistic story has picked Thank up. Thank you. Pick, it's been Thank picked you. up on. Very good. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, good luck on that. All right. Have a good one. All right. Thanks, bye, Greg. See you. Bye. <laughs> Rosie. All right. B. 785. Hi, Gray. Hello. Who's this? This is the real Lisa Smith. The who? The real Lisa Smith. Oh, look, I still see Rosie up there. She's got, I see the video way up in the corner. You got to hang up, Rosie. Uh, okay, what's going on? The real Lisa Smith. I think that it is somebody older than these college kids. Possibly um, just a general worker around in that's mm -hmm. been around that house and many other houses. I think he came in with the intention to sexually assault and kill somebody in that house. And he went in Zana's room and started there. And Ethan put up a fight. I think he killed Ethan first. Then I think he killed Zana. Mm -hmm. I think he was enraged. He went upstairs. He killed Maddie. And I think the reason that Kaylee got the most of it is because he had the most time with her because everybody else was dead, in his opinion. Well, I think it, your theory matches more the theory that other people have where I would think that if he, if he was somebody that works around there, he had his eye on a person. And then he goes up there mm -hmm. and maybe he went in there to attack uh, – Kaylee and you know maybe other things and then he had to kill Madison because she was there and then goes downstairs and maybe somebody I, don't, I mean I don't know somebody woke up or you know I don't the thing is is uh, they say that they were attacked sleeping but now I guess it's most of them were sleeping so I don't know how that worked but yeah well I think that let's just say he goes he, let's say he's after Zana mm. He's seen her, he likes her, he's after her. He, he's paid attention to what room she's in, somehow. Maybe he came in to mm. fix a, I don't know, a pipe. Mm. I don't know. But why would he just go and, up and kill when you said spent more time with Kaylee? Um, like, he didn't, there was no, they say there was no sexual assault. I guess there, there could be. A lot of times they say there wasn't to keep somebody believing that they don't think that. Uh, but she was attacked more, stabbed more ferociously or something. That's what it sounds like. Well, maybe, in my opinion, it could just be he'd already killed Ethan. He'd mm. already killed Zana. He already killed Maddie. And, you know, she was the last one there. And so he took out the rest of his rage on her. Right. But that's just a theory. I, my theory still sticks with it. Somebody older than those kids. I mean, it could be hoodie guy. It could be the ex boyfriend. Hell, it could be anybody. But yeah, I, I mean, feel like it was somebody. That's like the classic sort of serial killer like person that's going around and might have been his first time. But yeah, I mean, 
That's not... I mean, people have talked about that, but, but it seems like it's more personal, like somebody that knew them had been in the house. But yeah, I mean, if he was a maintenance worker or something, he might know the house pretty well too, right? Absolutely. You know, I live in the neck of the woods where BTK lives. And so he was all kinds of stuff, you know, animal control, this, that, and the next. And he just floated around and hunted. And then he would go back and look and see if they were alone and went in the house by themselves. And if they did, he would go in and kill them. But, you know, some people were saved by the fact that they just didn't come home or two people came home. So he walked away from the scene. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just feel like it's an older person, Gray. I really do. Well, it very well could be. I know that's something people have talked about, but it seems like it always keeps coming back to... Um... I mean, you know, the the theta, the uh, Sigma Chi being so close there is interesting, too. You know, somebody Maybe may have teacher. had an eye on somebody. Who knows? Maybe so, a teacher. Maybe yeah. someone who, you know, is one of the older, I don't know what they call them anymore, but, you know, that somebody that's in the house, that's the person everybody goes to, whatever they call them. I don't know what they call them in a frat house. I, I don't know. Maybe it's somebody older that's on that campus. I mean, it could be anybody, but I just feel like this person came there. I think he came there for one of the girls. I think Ethan wasn't, he didn't know Ethan was going to be there. Yeah. That's but, why I killed yeah. Ethan first. I mean, it seemed, I've always thought that um, the person went there to kill all four people because it just seems like you're going to kill four people and stab them all to death. I mean, that just seems a little over. You know, I think he was, well, in your theory, maybe he went there to kill at least three people, the three girls. Yes, or maybe five. Maybe he would plan to kill the ones in the basement yeah, and got maybe. spooked. Because mm -hmm. why are they alive? I mean, God bless them. I'm glad they are. But if somebody came there to kill the whole house, either they didn't realize that there was people down there or they just chose not to kill them. Yeah. Because huh. he didn't kill everybody. Yeah, well, I, I mean, there's the, the theories that uh, I have are, did they kill... Um, wait, hold on a second, what the hell? Oh, that's the picture. Um, were the two not killed downstairs because they weren't the ones that got home late with the other ones, 145 and 156? Or were did the person just not know, know that they, they were down there? Or were their doors locked and he tried to get in and didn't want to take any extra effort? You know, well, you know, I mean, you had to kick their doors in if they were locked. And I, I just I feel like it's somebody who worked around there, maybe worked in the house once mm -hmm. or twice, maybe on the kitchen. Yeah, I don't know. Well, and then be. or cable or I don't know, or fiber network. I, I don't know what he did. Right. But somebody like that, somebody that was just a prowler looking around, seeing maybe the three girls and maybe one of them caught his eye. And maybe he was on that kitchen level, and he went to the first room he saw, went in, and didn't expect Ethan. I know Ethan had to put up a fight, and he probably went at him hard. And, I mean, right off the bat. Zaina's fighting because she, his, the dad said she had defensive wounds. So Zaina's fighting. He kills her. Yeah, had to, then he goes on upstairs. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that's just my thoughts. I don't want to keep you. I know a lot of people want to yeah. talk to you, but I just want to say hey and tell you what I thought. Well, thank you for calling in. Uh, good idea. It might very well be exactly what you're saying. All well, right. I hope you have a great night and tell the freaks hello. I will. Uh, they're right here. They heard you. All right. See you later. All right. Bye-bye. Right, Bye-bye. Nope. She said hello, everybody. I don't know if you missed that or not. Anyways, the one caller that called in, you can call back in again, but I, I just can't wait around for you to fumble around with the audio and uh, re uh, realize you have to turn it off. It just doesn't work at all. It's just like that on the radio, too. They always have to say, turn down your audio. And then eventually they just hang up and go to the next caller. I'm going to lock the meeting now. So, All right, 505, you're on. Hello. Gray? Yeah, yeah. Hi, it's Allie Fair M from Chat. 
Oh my god, it's Aloe Fair M. What's going on? I know. I know. Watch out. The conspiracy theorists it. in flesh. What's going on? Yeah, well, I was sitting on my roof jamming to the Zoom hold music. The roof, see? And Boom. Not the roof. The <laughs> roof. <laughs> my roof. That's yeah. it. So anyway, I don't know who killed these girls and Ethan, but I was thinking of um, if there was a targeted attack for the girls upstairs, that I believe that what if the killer went in the sliding door, went upstairs because they somehow knew that those girls, those were the girls' rooms that they were targeting, and when they came down to leave, Zana was out in the kitchen getting a drink or something, saw them, and mm. freaked out and ran back to her room, and they followed. I don't know. See, that's and just a lot of, like, see, but that's, see how much, the, like, your imagination took over there? Like, what makes well, you think, what, what, fit, how does that work, I mean, in terms of, like, what factual pieces of information lead you to believe that? Hi, freak. <laughs> um... And by the way, let me let me just say something in, in the chat. See, people go, wouldn't there be bloody footprints all over the place? And the answer is no. There doesn't necessarily have to be bloody footprints everywhere because if they were killed on the bed, the blood would go down over there on the bed and his feet probably didn't have blood on them. And then you just get out the room. You go upstairs. You kill the other ones on the bed. It, all it, Blood being on the feet means that they were killed in like the hallway and there's blood all over the ground. There's no way to avoid it. In those rooms, you could easily avoid it, okay? And my video that I made today was just one of the million different ways you could go in there. My next video is to go up to the third floor, then down to the second. So when people sit in the yeah. chat, ooh, I think he went to the third floor first, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I mean, very well could be, okay? And I'm going to make a video that's going to show that one too, all right? Uh, it's not like it doesn't yeah. cross people's minds. It's obvious. Okay, uh, go ahead. Oh, yeah. I just, um, I, I was trying to think of, well, when I like your, your house model because when you took us through that, I was like, wow, that's a really confusing house if you're not familiar with it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I thought if, if somebody kind of knew those girls lived there or had been there once, knew their room was upstairs and went up to the attack one of them first or, and then there were two of them there in the bed and then came down and for some reason was spotted or maybe Ethan or Zana came out so maybe yeah. they heard something and they're like what is that just wandered out and then ran back to the room and then this person just followed them that's the only thing reason I mm. the reason I say that the only thing I thought of of them skipping out on the bottom two people you know it, it seems like they would yeah. want to like snoop around and clear the house i don't know yeah i don't know see what's weird about it is like it's upstairs right that's sort of a barrier there's this little stairway that goes up there and yeah. ethan and zena are on that second floor and that little stairway barrier you know it's kind of a weird i mean what does ethan do he goes up the stairs and then sees him or the timing just he uh, the guy went up there and killed them and he was heading down the stairs and saw him See, that's why, if, to me, it feels like they were all killed intentionally because that just doesn't really... I mean, I guess it's possible that the guy was coming down the stairs and Ethan yelled up, Hey, is everybody okay up there? And the guy went running down, attacked him, and then went in and attacked um, Zena too. Something like that. Definitely. Well, I thought, like, maybe if Zena had come out, she heard something, and Ethan was still in the bedroom... And she saw this dude, and she's like, oh, my God. And she just runs back into the room. And that's how he knew to follow her around to that specific area. That's what I was trying to figure out. Like, well, what, what do you mean? Getting that house is really weird. What, what are you saying? Zena was where? Oh, like if she had walked out into the kitchen living room area, if she was the one who did it. and or Well, the kitchen out, and living room are at the other end of the house. Are you mean? they... On the when you come down the stairs from the third. Well, the kitchen's. Um, hold on. The kitchen's over here, and the living room's over here. So the the living room's in the same two A, but at the other end of the house as their bedroom. Then you have to go through that little step down, take a right, and that goes to the kitchen. Into the kitchen. 
Mm. Yeah, I was just thinking that maybe they, or you know, is there a bathroom or something that they went around that corner and and saw the the dude coming down the stairs and then ran, and so the dude followed because they saw him. Somebody saw him. Yeah. See, Melanie keeps uh, buying, doing all the conspiracy stuff in the chat. So listen, Melanie, Melanie, oh. we don't know if anybody was killed in the kitchen, okay? So don't type it in. Ooh! Oh, so no, she's I doing, what, what, what Melanie's doing is the ancient yeah. aliens thing, where uh, basing an entire premise on something that we have no idea of knowing is true, but hey, uh, uh, you're just assuming that that's true, that somebody was killed in the kitchen. So you say... Wow, so maybe she was the one that was killed in the kitchen. Well, we don't even know if anybody was killed in the kitchen, right? So it's just... Yeah, it's that's, I, I wasn't thinking that. I thought that maybe she ran back into the room, which mm. drew that person back over around that corner. All right. But my the ancient alien theory was my next, next theory. No, I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yeah, really? Was, was it the spaceship flying over? Um, yeah, that's what I was thinking that the spaceship just deposited someone into the house. And, and, and Melanie, Aunt Melanie just called me Gary, okay? My name isn't oh. Gary. It's not Larry or Harry or Barry or... <laughs> there we go. I gotta, I gotta do one Greg. for all of them. Yeah. And it sure as hell ain't Greg. <laughs> or Craig. <laughs> or Greg, you know. Gotta go through all of them. Well, that's all I could think of. I was trying to just think of a way how that could have happened um and i'm sure you'll get into it when you do the yeah i mean all of those things are are possibly true you know that's yeah. the thing is we it's almost like we could come up with a million things like I, I could sit there and say well when he was up the stairs he dropped his knife and a clanking sound went into the room and it sort of woke up ethan he was like what's that clanking sound and then he first walked into the kitchen then he walked down the hall and that was right when the killer was done killing the other two and he was coming down and then Ethan's like, who the hell are you? And there was an attack and then he went running, stumbling. He was already wounded, he goes into the room and there is Zena and then he killed both of them in there. See, I could have a whole story and it, you know what? What I just said is absolutely possible. It's an actual yeah. possible thing, but is that really a likely story? You know, so like when we start adding tons and tons of detail to a story uh that's when i start going hmm yeah i don't know i mean i guess it's possible sure but i have no idea who like killed these girls i i vacillate between someone who knew the house well and someone who knew them and targeted them and or somebody who was targeting ethan or zayna mm -hmm. or you know i don't know so everybody else had good ideas about that. I was just thinking about how things happened in the home and how odd it is that they're in such different areas. Yeah, no, it is. If we just had one piece of information, uh, like where were all the bodies found, and or you know, actually not that. Well, maybe, but uh, I think the key thing would be. Where were they all attacked originally? Because I could see a situation where somebody was stabbed and they lived for a little bit and tried to get out to get to safety, get help, and then died in somewhere else in the house. It doesn't mean that they were attacked there, though. It just means they struggled to get out there. But law enforcement knows like the probably the entire sequence of all of it and who, yeah, you know how things work because they have all the spatter. Uh, for example, I was saying the other day. Uh, drug, uh, blood, you know, drops or anything. Uh, let's say there's any blood at all from Zena or Ethan. If it's upstairs, that means that they were killed first. Okay. Uh, yeah. If there's no blood from them, then you find some blood from Kaylee and Madison down in Ethan and Zena's uh, room or area down there. Then obviously uh, Kaylee and Madison were killed first. And that's how they're going to be able to determine it. Unless you think, well, how do you know we didn't go back up again? Well, you know, people just don't do that very often. In cases like this, they get the hell out of Dodge quick. So. Yeah, I guess it depends on the blood patterns and stuff that they find out. Well, I guess we'll know eventually. That was just my mm -hmm. my theory. Yeah. Well, I hope they let us know at some point. All right. 
Well, how's your uh, schooling right. going? Well, it's on hold. I can't find a clinical site to save my life, so I had to go get a job, you know, for a while. And uh, we'll, I'll probably start back again in the fall. What do you mean a clinical site? I have to do cla the rest of my schooling. I have to do hands-on training at clinical sites with a preceptor, another nurse practitioner. Mm. And our, we're just, it's booked up with students or they're understaffed. So I'm taking a job that I can do so I don't have to quit. I can do that while I'm in mm. school, and they'll help me find a site. So probably next year I'll get back in it. Oh, sweet. All right. Well, yeah. keep us updated. We're all rooting for you. All right. Well, <laughs> all right. Thank you. All right. Bye, have freak. a good one. See you later. Bye-bye. Alifarum. Hey, uh, 585. Hello. Hello. Who's this? Hello. Yeah. Hello. Who's this? Hello. Yes. Hello. Who's this? Hi. This is Sam. How you doing today? I mean, you. Uh, let me ask you something. I said hello three times in a row, and you were really loud on my end. So what? What happened over there? Is your audio not working, or? Say it again. Okay, what, what do you got for a uh, theory? What do you got? Okay, uh, no, I was uh, I was looking at the picture that you had on right before you put this picture up of yeah. the back of the house. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I noticed there's a black carpet right in front of the sliding door where they say the killer walked in. Yeah. I'm just, uh, and from what I understand, this is like two days after the... Mm -hmm happen don't you think it's kind of odd that the carpet is not in some uh, CSI lab under a microscope well how do you know, we know like, they didn't put it there so that they didn't track stuff in like hey put a carpet and you know rub your feet on it and then go into the house or whatever you know I, oh, I, don't you mean, know. I mean how do we know that enforcement put it there well those okay. chairs I think that are blocking the door the sliding door were put there by law enforcement hello Okay. I yeah, see. like yeah, yeah those see. those doors there. Yeah, down there. Mm -hmm. I mean the the stools. I mean, right there. Yeah. Those, those yeah. Were, okay. Yeah. I was wondering why you know because I heard of you know they could find dirt that they could say this is I don't know from Nevada or whatever so they could it could help. But I was just wondering if yeah it could be true. Yeah, I I see the blood right there still there. Mm -hmm. Well, that's right. That's early and on. That, that, and that's right where that's, their bed... That's probably the corner of Zana's bedroom, right? Yeah, that's right where the bed is uh, in, in this image. Wow. In this image right here, it's right there. You know, so it's right here, and if you go up over, that's where I have the bed. That's really the only place a bed could be. Um, could I guess you could rope me? I don't know. It fits really nicely there, and if it was this way, it'd be hard to get to the closet and get out. So the only logical place to put a bed in this room would be right over here. That's just my opinion. And if they were killed on the bed and blood dripped down, it would almost certainly, if it got through the wood, through the walls, would be found right here. I mean, it's, I mean you can see the bed. Look, look at where the bed is and where the blood would have been. I mean, is that crazy or what? right there yeah so. people have a hard time believing that could happen to the through the bed but no, i mean I, I don't i mean spider, spiders get into your house right like how do spiders get in from the outside well they crawl underneath the wood go up around and in and then they're inside your house same way liquid would do that yeah that that, that makes sense because i mean they probably didn't move the bodies till the middle of the night and mm -hmm. The yep. pie was there for a long time, and it would make sense of how it would leak through the house. And they said the house was just put together like half ass, and yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I had a question. Um, since you you're probably familiar with the house now that you did the 3D model, when you first walk in through the sliding door, mm -hmm. do you immediately immediately see Zana's bedroom door? Or do you have to keep walking and down the hallway, or no? I mean, I'll show it right now on the screen. So you go through the sliding door, and there's going to be individuals 
I don't know. Are you, are you able to see this or not? Yeah, I'm watching it right now. Yeah. Okay, so I go through the sliding door, and then you go down this little. The right to the right is the stairs that goes up to the third floor. Uh, and then you take a left right here. That's the living room. Those stairs, that little railing there, are the stairs that go down to the first floor. Then you take a left. Uh, oops, wait, hold on. <laughs> this thing got reset to let me do um, 2000 here. Hold on. So you take a left, then that's Zena's room right there, and there's the bed that I just showed you. Then you exit that room. You know, I'm not saying this is the order, this is just what I wanted to do on the video. Then you go up the stairs, you take a right, and then there's this room, really small room, that Madison's in. And then after you go out that room, you take a hard left to go back down those stairs, and then you take a left right away to go right back into the kitchen, and then out those sliding glass door right there. That makes sense? Yeah, I, I see why people say the person must have knew how the house looked or been inside before because it is a lot of doors, a lot of back, back, back Yeah, rooms, I mean, like, rooms. like this is weird. It's complicated. We'll have to actually yeah. search for it. I mean, it is, it is a small house for having I mean, that unless many... he did what you, what, yeah. you, what you did. I mean, looked up the... Um, well, they just have pictures. They don't have... The layouts on Zillow and... Well, I just used the one that uh, was provided to somebody that had the floor layout and then Zillow... Uh, provided some sort of things where you don't really know. Like I just figured out the stairs are, were diff different. Like when you go up these stairs right here, uh, there's actually, and then let me show you when you come. See right there, I didn't realize there was a banister right there. And then, then there was this angled uh, sort of, rail thing that goes down like that I didn't you couldn't see it but then I found one photo that had that in it so so then it made sense and then I just put some of the uh, so, well something happened to the dishwasher where'd it go <laughs> I mean not the dishwasher I had a stove right here I don't know where it went it's gone oh well <clears throat> anyways all right well I got a couple more calls. Right. anything else here all right thank you Have, no that's it Oh, Very cool. Well, thanks for calling. Have a good one. Bye. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened to my my stove. It was it was cool. Hmm. Let me see. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I don't even know where I put the stuff now. It's kind of weird. Did I put them in the... In here somewhere? Ah, I don't know. Anyways, I had a... A stove. I'll have to go look for it again. Let me get this one. Two six two. Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, this this is Danny. Um, in the Northwoods of Wisconsin. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, I've never called into a show before. Um, but I just had a thought. Um, I don't have internet, so I haven't been listening to since I've been on hold. Um, but I just had a thought that I haven't heard anyone else bring up, or um, at least not talked about much. Mm -hmm. um, I was thinking that if if Maddie was the target and if he had gone up there first, um, if the roommates downstairs said that they had heard noise and they locked their doors, um, that maybe Ethan and Zana were in bed and they heard something and maybe Ethan had gone out to, you know, kind of investigate and that's when he met with the killer mm -hmm. and then Zana maybe had heard that from in bed and was calling, you know, and 
that's why Zena um, would have then been killed in, in bed. Yeah, I had the defensive wounds. Yeah, because it sounds like, I mean, if you're woken up with this thing attacked, I don't know how much you'd be able to fight. So I would kind of think that she was kind of expecting that, like, you know, already kind of on alert. Mm -hmm. And also that, um, with what the coroner had said, that it's not accurate that they were all in bed. But, you know, um, with the blood dripping out of the wall from Tina's room, that um, maybe I think that it's Ethan that was out in the hallway. Or maybe he was just going to the bathroom if he was the first one killed. And, um, you know, when the guy came in. Or maybe he heard the door, like some door open and went to check it out. Yeah, I mean, it could have been... I mean, I you know, I mean, when you go out, when you drink, you probably go to the bathroom a few times at night, for sure. Yeah. But uh, I think it, if it, if he was found in the hallway and Dana was in bed, I would think either it would be possible that he was either killed first, they were killed first before he went upstairs, or or last, just because you know maybe they had woken up rather than because if I were a girl like the girls downstairs and I heard some noise. I would also lock my door, but if I had a man with me, I have always told them, hey, let me go check it out. So, I don't know, or go into the bathroom, but that's kind of, that's kind of um, just the theory that I had. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, it's not a theory that's not um, impossible. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, there's so many theories that are possible. At this point, we, we're kind of missing pieces of information to be able to really dial something in, right? Yeah. And do you, do you, what do you think about, um, I know you said you kind of under, you'd be doing the same thing that um, Maddie's uh, family is doing. Yeah, I'd be, out. I don't think what he's doing, nothing wrong with him at all. You don't you don't think that it would at all um No, I mean you know you know what I think is ludicrous is when people literally think maybe he's involved because he's acting the way he is. That just think how ridiculous that is. I mean just just think about it for a minute. I mean literally just sit sit back and go Why am I thinking that? I, I must have a brain that just doesn't work. Uh, because you know, like if, if somebody's literally out there thinking that the father has something to do with the murders merely because he's out there uh, angry and trying to pressure the police to do something is almost, uh, it's mind-boggling, uh, just uh, absurdity. Now, as a matter of fact, if you hear or see anybody suggest that and they're a YouTube content creator, never watch them again, all right? So yeah, they're, oh, they're, yeah. a, they're a joke at that point, okay? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've scooted around different uh, YouTubers on, you know, true crime and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but, and I, I eventually just, I pretty much just watch you now. But, um, and then, it, yeah, I, there's so many conspiracy theorists that just, I mean, they'll just go off with every, anything. Yeah, it's more entertaining, I, I know. it. I mean, when people are like, ah, Gray, let them just finish. I mean, I just, I don't want to. I mean, when I've already, when I hear stuff that's, absurd already and you go well that's just your opinion well it's just, it's absurd just on its face okay um so i just it's not based in any reality yeah and sometimes it's very rare but the absurd becomes reality it does happen but it's so rare that entertaining it is not worth your time okay that's yeah. the truth <laughs> But anyways, I, I had I, I'm lucky that I haven't heard anyone say. I've heard you mention that people said it, but I I guess I you know I don't really listen. I listen to you and then pretty much just like the regular news, but that's usually much shorter and not. You know, yeah, it's not four hours. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. I mean, I have, people always go. I don't like the. F well, don't watch my show then if it's you don't like the four hour shows. Here's the thing: is is I do a three or four hour show. Because that's what I do. I have a three-hour show on YouTube, okay? And I also make videos from time to time for people to watch. But it's weird when people complain when I do a three-hour show. Isn't that just odd? That's what I do. 
don't watch go watch somebody else <laughs> you know I, like I, I really I don't understand the concept behind I'm not saying that's what you're saying I'm talking about these people who comment in the comment section it's it's weird you know yeah it's and so all the, easy all the people that all the people that don't like you uh, I really think that if they listened a little bit more you, you, you kind of uh, I don't know they find a sweet spot for you <laughs> <laughs> so you're you're you got a different sort of personality, but it's a character, and I've yeah. I've grown to like it because I didn't I didn't at first, but now yeah. I'm like I think you're hilarious. <laughs> okay, good. See, I mean I don't know how many times I've heard exactly what you just said. Yeah, uh, <laughs> hey, but actually, how about this? Put a one if you thought exactly the same thing that she just said. <laughs> I bet you it's gonna go like. <laughs> That there's mm -hmm. time where they're like, I don't know, gray, 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 and then boom, boom, boom. Then it's sort of fun, and you know, it's like, <laughs> look at, look at all that. See that? <laughs> it's good shooting up. It's like a slot machine of ones. See, they agreed with you. <laughs> <laughs> look at that, man. That is just yeah. flying by like it. That's incredible. I think every single person typed in a one there. Maybe, maybe they'll have to get tired of all the other YouTube like crown creators and then they'll, they'll come around yeah maybe. they'll be forced to listen to you and then you'll rub off on them right there you go so well i'll let, I'll let you go what i just wanted to to bring that up well thank you yeah. i appreciate it anyway yeah, thanks for the call yeah. there all right we'll, we'll see yeah, what sure. happens have a good night. we need more info but yeah thank you have a good one bye-bye All right. Well, I, that's going to be it. I don't think my PayPal link was working. Tonight was one of those weird, like almost zero on there. That never happens. I don't think it ever showed up in the chat, I was noticing. But, hey, uh, Super Chats was good, so. Let's see. Yeah. Mm hmm any uh i didn't really get to see too many how many freaks are in here tonight well, i got two new freaks but i think a few joined today that were not even on the show they like it was um on the side hmm what breaking news Yeah, well, they, I guess they don't. Like, I, I, hey, who's your butt? I don't care, though. That's the thing. Um, I'm just going to be me, and if people want to help support my channel, Super Chats or whatever, uh, the way I am, then that's awesome. But I'm not going to sell my soul and try to pretend to be somebody just so that, um, you know, for that purpose. I mean, that's ridiculous, you know. I'm just me, and I've always been the same. The way my mind thinks, that's how I'm funny sometimes, too. Um, if I became a robot, I probably wouldn't be able to think that way. I'd always be wondering what what I'm about to say might mean. and Oh, who's going to care? And Like, for example, on this channel, we do not say um, the, the phrase unalived. Uh, if people say unalived, that means they have caved in to the most ludicrous of the PC people or the Hey, essayed. No, it's called sexual assault, everybody. That's the actual phrase. Um, that is the term. I think it's sort of, it's rude to people who have gone through those things to refer to it in some weird childish way. Yeah. Um, I hate those terms. Yeah, it really does. It just takes away from the seriousness of it. No, I'll say it because they don't. Yeah, but it, it does, they, they, but they don't really. Live streams are never monetized, Violet Blaze. They're never monetized, so it doesn't matter at all. No, you can say them, but maybe your your um, 
live streams aren't going to be monetized, but they never are anyways. So what difference does it make? You know, you maybe try to avoid even using the words in a video that you're trying to monetize. But when you're doing a live stream, you're having conversations with actual real people. Uh, when you use words like that, it's just so, I don't know, man. Yeah. It's weird. Very strange. To what? Right. No, they need to call it unalive prevention. Yeah, I've got an unaliving prevention number. And people are going to go, what is that? What, what do you mean unaliving? I mean, couldn't you also call that uh, somebody is a murderer? And let, let's dumb it down for them, right? We're trying to be, let's reimagine policing everybody. So instead of calling it murder, just, you know, let's not be too over dramatic towards them and say, yes, you're a murderer. Just call them, you're an unaliver. You know, uh, hey, man, you need to stop being an unaliver. Okay? Um, you know, we, we, we see a spot for you in society. If you would just stop your unaliving people. Disaliving. There you go. I like that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, would you quit um, disaliving people? There you go. Uh, we're going to go with that one for murder from now on. Uh, just like the um, pedophile wackos are going to be called um, minor attracted people. Don't, don't, uh, let's not, you know, don't make them feel bad for who they are. And you know, let's call them something else. And that's already happening, sadly, what I just told you there. The nomenclature's changing to help appease a group of people that need absolutely no appeasing at all and are, you know, sick as hell. Yeah. Are they replay on the live videos monetized? Oh, not no, they're not. Yeah. They always um, give you a, you know, it's not ready for monetization. Then you have to appeal it, and then four days later, they say, "Oh yeah, your video was okay." But let me ask you something: How many of you, just in general, go back and watch a live stream four days later? Probably not too many, right? Because it's not live anymore. That's kind of the point. Hey, Mark, we just did a three-hour show, okay? We were just having a conversation about the show, the, the, the case, and um, you know, take, took some calls. And I know that sometimes my shows are watched again, you know, old cases and things like that. But I'm just saying, in general, when the show first plays, you'll get 8,000 views, right? Maybe, uh, lately anyways, before it would be like three, but uh, like you have 8,000 views, and there might be, tomorrow there might be 12 or 14, and then there's no more views the next five days. And that's when YouTube goes, hey, you're monetized. It's good stuff. All right, so anyways, I'm done. <laughs> so thank you on here to Shannon Diaz for joining. Welcome. Cheryl Bullock, JP William, Reviewed Popcorn, Cat Eye from Australia, This Account, Living It, Cheryl Worthington, Disc Golf Bear, Lisa Wilkerson, uh, Angelie, Jen Baird, uh, Jennifer Lee, Disc Golf Bear, Zozo, Kit Kat, Mama 457 Rose, um, AF. I mean, I try to get everybody in here, but if I don't get you in there, sorry. Kit Kat, Mama 457 Rose, AF again, Cali Mama, then two AF Cat Eye donations. Thank you. I mean, he's. And then Dixie Chicken. Um, a double cat eye, 
S. V. Kathy, Angela, Alex, J. Lisa Murphy, Mama Four Fifty Seven Rose, uh, Vegas Andrews, Gummo, Carol, Colleen Dahman, L. M. M. Sherry, Miranda writes. A uh, little bit, perfectly imperfect. You know, I haven't said um, is I haven't seen quietly frozen for a while. L M Sparks, Rachel Hyder, Dobby Smith, Eugenie, Cat uh, Viatix upgrade. Thank you. Cat Catten via via Texas. Cat. Let's see. Cat Catten via Texas or something. Noreen Gardner, Melanie, 100 Dundee, new members, welcome. And then 100 Dundee, and then Wild Mountain Time, Kidney 87, CC, I miss, uh, I miss Kate, I miss Caitlin. I, I'm, <laughs> I miss Caitlin. <laughs> 100 Dundee, Chrissy, Cairo, One X Rose, Georgina Stilicker, Simple Life Days, Chrissy, Richard, the Mechanic, Canic. He said, Gray can. Is it possible to tell the height of the attacker? I'm maybe with the way they're doing it, but yeah, you can. Sometimes you can figure out how tall somebody is. Chrissy, and then Cairo, and Mark Rogers. It's always a great show tonight, mister. <laughs> yeah. Because people say that all the time, right, Cairo? Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys very much. And also, I did have earlier... On PayPal, I did have LMM. Thank you. And then also on Venmo. My Trish. So thank you very much. Yeah, what kind of troll do we have this time? There is police cam footage out just now. Really? Where? Where, Hire Ham 2? Where, man? Where, dude? Where is it? Where is it, man? I forget. I mean, where is it, mister? Oh, bad. Tired. Got up early to do the animation, and then we took off this television. I have the, I had this, um, you know those, uh, like an HD TV, but from 2007. <laughs> it was on my wall. How much do you think that freak, it was, it was a 48-incher. How much do you think that weighed? So that thing was on a wall with one of the most heavy-duty mounts ever but it was a really cool mount right it was this really cool mount but the tv broke recently and like it quit working all the hdmi inputs uh, broke and everything so it's just like this dead tv and it took i had to i had to actually went on you i was okay so how did i do that i typed in old mounts i was able to see that it was a, br a certain brand and then i got lucky and it had the a number in this one place so I looked it up and it's really old so I found out like you kind of set the TV in and then you push it back and then put these bolts on it after you've put the whole thing on the wall I mean this thing was I mean you could put a car on that mount I mean it was <laughs> anyways I had to take all of that off and then we got the TV probably weighed a hundred pounds I would imagine or you know 85 anyway and so then we put that in the car and we put this other T broken TV and took it to Goodwill, said this is for recycling. And then I also gave them the mount and then this other TV, we're just waiting for somebody to put the mount, get the mount, put it on the wall. I was, I thought the old mount would work on it, but it it's, doesn't. There's, they're not the same at all. Ethan's jealous brother, huh? Well, I'm, I'm glad that was an interesting story. Hey, Gray, has Eason's brother been ruled out? Huh? 
Uh, that, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life, Mauricio. Oh, that's embarrassing. Have you been ruled? What, what were you doing, actually? What were you doing on that day? I'm just curious. Have you been ruled out yet? Uh, let's see. All right. So we're going to do a spin now for a... Uh, this is going to be for... It's a house mug, and that's it. All right. Here we go. Well, all of us are suspects until we've been ruled out, okay? And I have my eye on a lot of you. Tammy, what were you doing? Disc Golf Bear, I heard you were somewhere in the vicinity, maybe even having a Starbucks. Okay, Play-Doh, uh, come on. Let's be honest. All right, here's the It's a House. It's a house! Reviewed popcorn! Look at that, huh? There you go, Reviewed Popcorn got the It's a House mug. Unbelievable. What is the, what are the odds of that? Yes, everybody. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the show tonight. It was pretty much a call-in show. Uh, seems like lately we're just kind of... It's hard to get on to something else because there's always some angle or something to be talking about on this one. But I don't know. i got to sneak in some cold cases here. Come on. Mauricio, be honest. Where were you that day? Eh? Prove to me. Give me your alibi. Alright, anyways. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you all for being here. Uh, yeah. And, you know, go out and share the channel. And don't forget to hit the like button on the way out the door. And if you feel like you want to share that animation that I made earlier today, that'd be awesome. It seems to be doing pretty good right now. Thank you very much. And until next time, everybody, be safe out there. And a two, and a three, and a four, and a five, and a six, and a seven, and an eight, and a nine, and a ten, and an eleven, and a twelve, and a thirteen, and a four. Yeah. I've been doing this true crime thing for quite a while now. And during this whole time, I have not seen what one What the person. hell was that? Clem. That is a crime dissector. Like rejecter. I'm a certified human lie detector. I'm gonna get ya. On a stretcher, if you try and play me like an old projector, projector is my nectar. I found the greatest good, I give another lecture. And the lector, freak connector, and always gonna be a pop detector, full of lector, interceptor. And I need a little specter with a vector, honest vector, with all respect, y'all. Just remember, I'm a temple for rejection. I have no agenda. I'm a bartender, and I'll serve it to you straight without a blender. And in the end, uh, I'm gonna send you on a mission to reveal a true offender. Hey, what happened, Gray? Yeah, Where's so Mariko? Gee! Well, that's where the song ends, Mary Lou. Just because you had some weird tune that you were trying to sync up the rap to. What was that, Old MacDonald? I think it was Old, Old MacDonald. Yeah, that's what I thought. Something like that. But anyways... Yeah, I mean, the song doesn't change just because you need it to. You know what I'm saying? Just like some of these theories that are out there. I mean, we can't add elements to a case just to have it, you know, fit your theory. That's called tunnel vision. Well, that's, that's a good, good point, point, Craig. So, um, whenever I theorize about a case, I take the known facts and I theorize based on those facts. Is that correct? Correct, Mary Lou. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. All right, Mary Lou, sounds like you're really starting to learn some things here. Well, thanks, Gray. Yeah, well, no problem. Wow, I mean, this is the most cordial conversation I've ever had with you, Mary Lou. 
What is that supposed to mean, Gray? Normally we always have them. Well, we don't really. Oh, God, Gray. <laughs> you always say that. <laughs> wow, that was so quick. We were getting along so well. And you just start bawling. That's ridiculous. That's okay, okay Gray. Gray. Sometimes I get really upset, okay? Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys later. And be safe out there. Be safe out there. Goodbye, everybody. Jay. Jay. God, that isn't very nice, Gray. Well, you just did the same thing to me when I say goodbye. You know, uh, be safe out there, and you like, be safe out there like that. Oh, oh my God, God Gray. <laughs> Is that the most passive-aggressive person you've ever seen? Oh, my God. See you later. <laughs>